Hey, what's up, friends? Is my shirt in backwards? No. What's up, yo? How we doing? How we feeling? I know I am not around for streams as often, but I still love popping in and seeing what you're up to now and again. This community is and always will be my favorite. Still hey. supporting you from the sidelines, man. Let's hit that year mark, yeah? Three. <laughs> hey, what's up, Ange? Thanks so much. Yeah, we. I understand, guys. I understand things get crazy. Uh, and life, life goes on. So thanks for coming by, Ange, and thanks for always supporting. I appreciate it. It's good. It's good to hear from you. I hope you're doing well. Also, this guy, I did like a, uh, this guy's like, oh, sorry, just some cable management. All right, there we go. What's up? How's everybody doing? What's up, Cosmic, Daria, Film, Dahlia, Victoria, Founding. Aaron, Alex, Liz, Catherine. What's up, everybody? My cat is like, anytime I'm in the kitchen, he's like, oh, is it time to eat? And I'm like, no, bro. It's not tiny. How's my day going? Pretty good. Uh, it's chill. I don't know. Has anyone else been just having like a weird week? And like been trying their best to make it not weird? I think, I think it's just the lack of sleep in the front half of the week because of this cat guy. What's up, Catherine? Sorry, my mom texted me. All right, uh, let's bully TikTok for a quick sec, shall we, friends? Just to remind people that we're here. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah. How was everybody's day? TGIF, yeah. Finally, over vaccine side effects. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm getting mine. I'm getting mine soon. It's it's open to California to the public next week. And you, you know, I have, I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, but I have such a shitty immune system. Played Quiplash and Jackbox for five and a half hours. Nice. Those days are the best days. Imagine getting your driver's license before 20 could not be me. Hey, it's just all about the journey, right? Let me turn on. I always forget to turn on the practical light. Oh, you know what I did yesterday? Is it what? Is I turned on these two? It actually worked pretty well. Cause this light, this light in this fan is broken. Oh, the check. 
t-shirt and some chinos. Are now doing vaccines for anyone 18 and up. Oh, okay, good to know, Dahlia. Good to know. Hey, what's up, man? So true, Kate. Shine that positive. Oh, something was just delivered. Have a nice stream, everyone. Package. Oh, actually, this might be fun. Oh, guys, also, I got some packages at my P.O. box. Okay, so this is this is actually a good time. This is actually a good time. Okay, I don't know what these... I don't. These two came in the P.O. box, and then this thing I ordered for my cat, which my cat is kind of hungry right now, which is the perfect time to play, because he tolerates... He tolerates our newfound friendship because he thinks I'm about to feed him. But so anyways, this is... One big old box for just this. It's a laser pointer. We were actually playing for the first time this morning, I think. Do I need to charge it? Okay, cool, I don't need to charge it. How do I change? I know it does like different, uh... Get out of here. This is like a little flower. It does different shapes, but I don't know how to change the shapes, but it that doesn't matter. Camera angle is not very good for this. There you go. Oh, I should do it. I should do it over here. <laughs> He's like, "What is going on right now?" Seems not overly thrilled about it. Okay, not super, not super thrilled about it. Get out of here. Okay, it's like a slow walk. Give him a sec to poke it, okay. It's also shaped like a butterfly. Okay, we're gonna have to mess with that later. But he was enjoying the, um, he was enjoying uh, like a little, little mouse toy. Biscuit, catch stream content. Well, we do have to feed him in like two and a half hours. Hey from Greece. What's up, TikTok? Uh, just a reminder, I'm live on Twitch, so if you want to come hang out with me, my friends, and my cat, you are absolutely welcome. You just sat. He seems intrigued, yeah. With each passing day, he is tolerating my presence more and more. Now, actually, if I'm standing in a room, he will walk past me as long as I don't make any sudden movements. And I would say one in every three times when I walk past him, he does not just book it the F out of there. So, progress. Get out of here. Hating you less, yeah. It's more like he's less scared now. On your computer and Insta story. Uh, honestly, I have not been... Um, Uh, I did not do much today. I did a little bit of my day job work. I took a nap because I've not been sleeping. Hello? Is anybody there? I'm just a frightened old man. I could- oh gosh. I, uh, I cleaned my apartment because my mom and my sister are coming by tomorrow. 
Would you please help me find That's about it. It was a chill day. Hey, what's up, man? Also, can we tolerate these old school gifts I made in like the first month of streaming? Did I clean my teeth? What am I doing? May, thank you for the thousand and thank you for contributing one fourth of our daily Bitcoin. May, you were the, May, you were the best. I mean, you all are the best, but May, I appreciate you coming in here every single stream and 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 keeping keeping your little hype train conductor. You're coming in here and you're sending good vibes, not only to me and everybody else. And I speak for all of us when I say we appreciate it. Sleeping vibes, gotta get those seven hours. See you later, man. Sorry, sorry you gotta be up early on a Saturday. Sleep well. Uh, guys, who's excited for who's excited for a Friday late night stream? It's hot as hell in here, though. Is my freaking over? I don't know what the kids do these days. They just cheese and watch SpongeBob. What's up, man? Intolerant, man. I can't keep up. I can't enter the dating world again. I can't enter the dating world. Please don't make me. I'm sending you goods. Oh, got it, Ange. My bad. Keep up the good work, buddy. Hey, buddy. Thanks. Thanks for the. Thanks for the fiver, Matt. You know what I'm gonna do with that fiver? I'm gonna give it to Uncle Sam. Because I owe them a lot of money. <laughs> How you doing, bud? Okay, so we got two things from the P.O. Box. One other thing showed up today, but my anxiety said we're not leaving the house, so I will have to get that later. So first up is this thing called Love's Cabin. It says compressed product on it. Please wash before use. It'll refresh in shape. Warm your dream. Okay, Love's Cabin, and we're going to warm our dream. Kind of weird of them to think my dream isn't already warm. Okay, <laughs> big mood. Liz gets it. What is this? Oh, I think it's the cat bed. I think it's the cat bed. So wait, I gotta wash it first? That's a gimmick. Shouldn't they know I want things ready to be used and not washed for months straight out of the box? Talk about these in a cronk voice. All right, ghost go, boys and for ghost guys. Uh, this is a cat bed. We were uh, talking about it yesterday. It's for my cat, but everybody knows cats either love a cat bed or they uh, never use it at all. <laughs> Biscuit do be lurking. Where is he lurking at? Here we go. They really, uh, they really just compress the crap out of this. And guys, if you're watching on TikTok right now and you want to know my zodiac sign, just come on over to Twitch. We got a special command. It's gonna freak you out. It's gonna, it's all automatic for you. Oh. Oh, 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 it's got even a, got a little hole in there. I didn't know it had a hole in it. I thought it was just a big fluffy pillow. So when my cat likes me more, we're gonna set up a cat cam. So wait, it just wants, it wants me to wash it? Why do I have to wash it? Did it come with instructions? Yeah, I think I think the box just says that I want that but human size. Wasn't there like a TikTok of like basically like bean bags are coming back into fashion? You do be watching. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Hey, check this out, buddy. Check that out. Uh, let me see if I can lure him with the laser pointer. I don't know how to change. Oh, is it like this? Okay, there we go. Come on. There he goes. There he goes. I 
could put a treat in it. Has Biscuit made any biscuits yet? I feel like he's made a tiny biscuit on it. Okay, well he's gonna he's gonna take his time. He's gonna take his time in a classic biscuit fashion. Biscuit, Biscuit likes to take his time. Uh, I should move it. I should move it to where he's on camera, huh? Maybe back here. Yeah, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a tree in. Now he knows it at least can occasionally come with treats. I didn't realize it had like a little bottom. I thought it was just like a I thought it was just like a bag. I thought it was just like a bean bag. Cherry. He doesn't know how to, he doesn't know how to feel about it. Okay. Get out of here. What's up, Abby? This is Biscuit's channel now. Make it more fluffy because it's kind of deep. It is pretty freaking fluffy. I could also just flip it upside down. Oh man, I get so warm. I get so warm while I stream all the lights he steals the show now that's fine I don't I don't I don't mind my uh, my cat taking over uh, taking over the streams it's cool with me How was everybody's day? What time is it for everybody? <laughs> yeah, I think he wants to be fed. I think he wants to be fed. 2.30, 8 p.m., 9 p.m. PST, baby, PST, baby. And uh, guys, if you're watching on TikTok right now, uh, this is just like a notification that I'm live on Twitch. Uh, this live stream is going to end in a couple minutes. But if you want to hang out for the next few hours, we're just going to be vibing. Uh, my cat's going to be here. 
and uh, just playing some games. So thanks, guys. It's half 2 a.m. You know, I like saying noon 30 for when it's 12.30. Took a, took a solid nap. I took a nap, too. I've been so freaking tired this week. Also, guys, I want to turn on... Um, I want to turn on my fan. I have like a really loud fan. Let me know if you can hear it. Let me turn let me turn on this fan. How how loud is that humming? How loud is the humming in the background? Be be honest with me. What's up, Kelly? Graduating next year with a BA in theater. Please tell me I didn't waste four years. Can't really hear? Okay, cool. Cause my, um, I have an overhead fan that's like pretty quiet, but it, it's like busted. If you remember me, I, hey, what's up Kai? Yeah, totally. It's how many, uh, startup now it's pretty much gone. Okay, good deal. Good deal. Cause I, I get so freaking warm. Uh, if you, so you got a theater degree and you're worried if you like wasted your time. Uh, I don't think you did. I don't think you did. You know, so the, um, but you know, it also kind of depends like what you're trying to do with your life and stuff. So, uh, but you know, I would say, I would say a theater degree is like you know pretty much the same as like you know most other like social science soft degrees. Personally speaking, heard you got a cat. I did get a cat. Yeah, he was on. He was on the stream. Uh, not much later. I'm actually gonna move the cat bed just in case he does want to hang out with it. Are you going? Maybe it's supposed to go this way. Nah, it's probably gonna be like this. Top three favorite games of all time? Probably World of Warcraft, Assassin's Creed, and um, Grand Theft Auto. App crash, no worries, Victoria. Fully awake now, welcome. I, I've been moving my camera too much, I don't remember like where it is. Is it usually like slightly, a slight, just slightly like this way? Can you, can you remember like how the camera angle is supposed to be? Have I ever played Behind Two Souls? No, what's it about? That sounds interesting though. It's too hot to wear my headset. Sounds like it's a crowd favorite. I've been good, Kai. Just been doing my thing. How you been doing? Where am I from? I'm from San Diego. How's cat dad life? It's going pretty well. He's still, um, he's still trying to warm up to me. He's, every day he's getting less scared. <laughs> Loving this Saturday. Hey, thanks Dolster, I appreciate it. Basically do be lurking and staring. He loves to lurk and stare. <laughs> yeah, there he is. He just likes to watch me all day. That's all. Uh, I, I moved his bed just so it was on on camera. Hey, what's up, Morgan? Sorry, uh, TikTok. If you're watching right now, this is just like a notification. Uh, but I'm gonna be live on Twitch for the next three to four hours. So if you want to hang out and uh, meet my cat and uh, just hang out with some friends, you are more than welcome to do that. We'd love to have you there here. How's it going, Morgan? How you doing? You guys match so well. Yeah, it just kind of worked out that he's a ginger cat as well. Guy yeah, looks like he, he looks like he respects me. <laughs> He's a lurker. He is a lurker.
dog's so good. <laughs> Glad to hear it, friend. Glad to hear it. it. I am so warm when I stream, guys. I am so warm. Hold on, guys. I have to. I have to take off my pants. Hey, what's up, KTP? Uh, hold on, guys. I have to. I'm. I'm burning. I'm burning up. It's so hot in my house without my overhead fan. I need them to fix it. Stand. Likes to, he just likes to check in on what I'm doing, you know? Wherever I go, he's like, he's lurking not far behind wherever I go. How you doing, KTP? <laughs> yeah, they really, they really gotta know. See you later, Morgan. Oh, no worries, KTP. Feel feel better, man. Hey, what's up, Seb? How you doing, bud? Officially after talk. Time to party. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Biscuit do be a lurker. He's a big time lurker. Which is only fair because I lurk in like all my friends' things. I'm pretty much lurking 24-7. Change them to a camera setup. Uh, not yet. I mean, I think I think you might be noticing the angle is so ever so slightly shifted. And I think I have now that I have a 360 ballpoint. It's probably got like a ever so slight downward angle. Uh, but it's showing it's showing more of this side. Hello from Germany. Good night. Aber wie spät ist es? Wie geht es hier? Looks sharper somehow too. Um, Nothing with that. Maybe it's that too. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess I, I did use, I used autofocus today just because I've been changing it a lot. So, which doesn't make sense because manual focus is sharper than autofocus. But yeah. Uh, I'm using more natural light these days. Could be, could be, could be any of those things. But I actually need to, um, what I got, Seb, is uh, you might actually you don't you don't need this. Be oh, there he is. You don't need this because you have a because uh, uh, you have a standing desk. But I, desk. But I haven't implemented it yet. But I basically got like a, uh, I was gonna do a DIY version that was more comprehensive. But I found another version. I basically found like a really long uh, camera mount arm that has like three other arms on it. Uh, so it's gonna be like a one-stop shop, and I'm actually gonna like connect my monitor to it as well. So my monitor is gonna be up off my uh, desk, and is I'm gonna be able to rotate it up and down. And then same thing with my camera and the light and my microphone. Uh, here, let me show you. It's it's similar. Do I have a lurk command? Yeah, I do. It's similar to this. But this this guy's was like a little more intense than I wanted to do. It's gonna be like it's gonna look like this. Uh, except I didn't get this light because this light is like eighty bucks. Sick. Yeah, I actually found, I'll let you know how it goes. I actually found one on Amazon. This, what what this guy did is, um, this is actually like a monitor mount and then all of this is like, uh, like he bought it all separately and he, he did like just a small, small, small amount of drilling. But I looked, I looked into the cost and like all of this was gonna cost a good amount, but I actually found, I actually found one on Amazon. 
Uh, I actually found one on Amazon that was like pretty much the same thing. A little less beefy, to be honest with you. But I think it, I th I'll let you know how it goes. But I figured I could always, uh, always return it if need be. I've been buying so many things lately. So this one's going to be a little less beefy. Uh, but this you, this actually uh, it comes with a um, it comes with a monitor connector either desk mounts as well sounds good bud uh, no this so this one's ready made but <laughs> spend money it's good for the it's good for the economy Lily it's good it's good for the economy it's good for the economy. It's good for the economy. You know, I bet I could get a Marge Simpson voice if I kept trying. It's good for the economy. I'd have to work on it. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you go. Never gonna run around. Hey, Kelly, thanks for the 100, friend. Sorry, now I'm doing too much reading. You know what? I think we're gonna be friends. Hey, Talia, thank you for the tier one. Welcome, friend. Love to have you here. Thanks for choosing the cow you know for all your cow cold needs. And Victoria, thank you for gifting a sub to the community, friend. I appreciate it. I appreciate, I appreciate all y'all right now. I hate I hate that my overhead fan is fucking down right now because this the my in wall unit one is loud as all hell. Can't can't hear myself freaking think right now. You know what? I think we're gonna be friends. Hey Carly, thanks for giving this up to Kelly Kills. Thanks for having me. We're happy to have you here, friend. We're flip dip lip and happy to have you. Hey, Queen. Bookshelf in the back. Oh, thanks, friend. My mom and my sister are coming up tomorrow, and my dad bought me a plant, but I haven't had a chance to drive down to my hometown to get it. So we'll have a new plant, baby. Hey, thanks guys. If you're on TikTok right now and you want to know my sign, just come on over to Twitch and we have a command all set up for you. Queen friends. Shannon, thank you for the thousand bits. I should change the thousand bits one, or do you guys really like it? Do you guys like the Shania Twain, man, I feel like a woman one? So many children. Hey, Erica Marie. You guys are nuts right now. You guys love the hype. I just love the hype, the hype, hype. I'm sweating over here. The hype's making me sweat. Man, I feel like a woman. Hey, what's up, Emma? <laughs> Erica Marie, thank you for the 1050. I hope you're having a great day. Happy Friday, guys. Okay, so what I am learning so far is that Thursday night, late night vibes are fun, but I think, I think it sounds like we, uh, Friday is a little bit easier on a lot of us because it's the weekend and stuff, right? That's what it sounds like. Because oh, I'm still trying to, I do want to try some what morning streams. Hey, Aaron97. Aaron, thank you for the five gifted subs, friends. You guys are going nuts today. I love when you guys just wake up and choose chaos. <laughs> Vic, thank you for the two months. That alert right there is a special one, only only for people that do the two months on the second month. Happy two months, two hearts. Happy two months indeed. Thanks so much, friend. Oh shit! 
Didn't mean to do that. Never gonna let you go. Never gonna run around and turn you. That's Taylor, thank you for the 104. Hype, 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 hype. Uh, why is my thing freaking out? Victoria, thank you for the 22. Thank you for the 38. Dahlia, thank you for the 100. Eric, I'm here. You're going nuts today. You're going nuts today. I appreciate it. I did not choose chaos. I am chaos. Whoa, Twikey. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Bam, 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 bam. Loving the background music. We've been, we've been enjoying it. We've been enjoying lo-fi lately. Du bist wunderbar. Ah, vielen Dank. Du bist auch wunderbar. Ganz tot. <laughs> you guys walked up today and you were like, hey, Zachary. I've definitely accidentally done crack ones. So. It's true. I have accidentally done crack ones. It's a great story. Hype train choo choo. Hey, what's up, friend? Hope all you cow cuties are doing well. Thanks, Leslie. I hope you're doing well. You know what? Thank you for the 500, friend. Even 500. Aaron, you are on a gifting sub maniac train today. Thank you for gifting to our friend Emma. You deserve all the hype, Zachary. No, you guys deserve all the hype. You guys deserve all the hype. Can't wait for it to cool off. It's just, I just don't get enough, uh, I just don't get enough airflow. I need to look into like maybe maybe there are like small powerful fans i can stretch like quiet powerful ones i can place throughout my apartment to just get like really good cross air circulation because i just feel so warm right here oh i'm drinking hot fucking tea no wonder why i'm so fucking hot listen fuck it I knew it was coming, Ange. I knew it was coming. I fucking knew it was coming. I knew you were here. I knew it was coming. Erica Marie, thank you for the five additional subs. What is going on today, guys? So you got done talk. My talk about is cool. Danke schön. Had to add to the hype. Lol. Pog champ one. Pog champ one. Pog champ one. We haven't had this issue in a while. Pog champ one. Pog champ. One 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 pog champ. One. Pog champ one 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 pog champ I need water. And thank you for the 500. I'm not thanking you for the pog champ, but thank you for the 500. Carly, <laughs> I didn't even realize that autocorrect. That was such a funny autocorrect. What the fudge was I even trying to say there? Is the question. <laughs> hey, what's up, Elia? <laughs> Uh, guys, if you're watching on TikTok, this is just a quick notification reminder. I usually just live stream on uh, TikTok for the first 20 or so minutes just to remind everybody because uh, push notifications don't work. How you doing, Eliana? And uh, I'm currently getting trolled on my Twitch by PogChamps. So that's, that's basically what's going on. How you doing, Eliana? How's your night going? Uh, Eliana, I swear, you popping at the strangest times. <laughs> it's... it's but uh, you know we we do weird stuff we do weird stuff guys if you if you like me on tiktok i promise the twitch is much much different uh uh i tell interesting i've led an interesting life i don't want to get banned on tiktok live but um it's been a lot of <laughs> just trust me trust me on this 
I heard the Donald Duck. They're like, yeah, I do. I do a lot of accents and voices. C guys, can you uh, can you believe that a voiceover agency just passed on me? And I'm like, sir, I do a three out of ten Donald Duck impression, and uh, you know, like an eight out of ten Kronk from Emperor's New Groove. I don't understand. Redeem Zach to an accent, Irish. Uh, why am I blanking? A little bubble in the front of your mouth. But no, yeah, I've been submitting to some new voiceover agencies because I just been I just signed with a new agency across the board, and uh, you know I submitted to them and they just passed. But you know that's really the name of the game. If we have any um, if we have any actors in here or aspiring actors, I don't really like that word aspiring actor. You know, once you're an actor, there is no, in my opinion, you record on Twitch. I do, yeah, yeah, I live stream on Twitch uh, a couple of times a week. Uh, we play games, we hang out. Uh, you know, they asked me to do different characters and different different voices and all that kind of stuff. Goose goes poison, poison for goose go. Zach, wie hast du Deutsch gelernt? Uh, ich habe Deutsch in Schule gelernt und auch in Deutschland für uh, zwei Monate gewohnt. How dare they? It's the name of the game. It's funny because I only submitted to them because my friend just signed with them, and he's like, "You'd be perfect for them." And I emailed them, and an hour and a half later, they were like, "Nah, <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah." I'll add you on TikTok. Oh, thanks, friends. Appreciate it. Friday, late night Friday vibes. This is actually our first time streaming so late on a Friday, but uh, yeah. We're going to be playing The Walking Dead today. <laughs> Name of the game. It so is. How are things going for you, Eliana? What have you been up to? I know, well, I know you've been slaying the uh, social media game. Have you found, and we don't have to talk about this now. I know it's really not fun to talk in like the 75 characters they give you. But have you found that your social media has been translating to traditional uh uh acting opportunities tiktok is kind of dead oh yeah i i believe it i believe it you know i remember seeing you posted a while ago because like my stuff has been flopping hard but there was like that weird like i want to say like a month or two ago where everybody was going down and uh you posted i think it was the the trending audio where someone's just screaming the whole time and you said like you had like 105 percent watch time and i'm like that's so true like why it's so crazy that we have such a high watch time and it isn't showing. And I think what bothers me the most is like, I think of it like a business as, as do you like, so you have like an email list, right? For your website, uh, like, Hey, input your email, you know, and, and I'll, uh, I'll notify you when things happen. And, uh, in my opinion, like if someone subscribes to you, like your YouTube or an email address or whatever, like say I made clothes and if you guys signed up to receive an email alert from me because I was a designer, when I submitted my designs, you would get an email. But I don't understand that TikTok, when I, when I post a thing, my followers should either be notified or it should be on their following page. But lately I've been getting one to 2% reach. They should be notified. Yeah, I know you understand exactly. I feel like that's happening right now. Yeah. And it's really across the board. I have I have a theory, guys, uh, and maybe maybe you have some more insight because you probably have a little bit more. Because I know once you get verified, you get like a, a specific point person at TikTok. But my theory about what's going on with TikTok right now is they're trying to transfer into like the mainstream zeitgeist, and there's a lot of celebrities that have been popping on, and I find it a little coincidental that you know celebrity a can decide to make a TikTok tomorrow and their very first post you don't have that person that's crazy i thought they gave i thought they gave everybody a point person uh but guys don't you find it weird that as soon as a celebrity comes on TikTok, their first one goes viral so that's clear to me that there's someone on the back end that is curating what does and doesn't go on to these levels of traffic you know because social media is a highway right and traditionally on social media you know, depending on how a post does in the first 20 minutes, 60 minutes, whatever, think of it like a highway. The first lane is the slowest, the fourth lane is the fastest. Depending on how your post is doing, they move you to the faster lane, which increases your reach for that specific video. So <clears throat> I think they're trying to, which is not a bad thing, but YouTube's like that too. Like if you go on YouTube trending, all of the top clips are like Jimmy Fallon tonight, music videos, all those things. They're not really supporting creators, specifically smaller creators, and a lot of our verified creators as well. Uh, and I'm sure it's frustrating, Eliana, because I feel like uh, you've been on TikTok just as long, if not longer than me. I think I've been on here like two years. Uh, so we've been grinding, putting, putting out several videos a day, every single day. Only if you use the shorts. Yes, that's true too. They're always trying to promote their, uh, their new stuff. And it's tough, guys. If anyone here is debating being a content creator, 
just be ready to um you really got to put full-time hours into it before you're making full-time money for sure are they pushing content that's sponsored not or both um i'm sure they're pushing sponsored content as well but those are usually you just see on like the fyp so i'm not uh not hey what's up wampus what's up ed sorry guys i was going on a little bit of a tangent there since the acting challenge signs i've still been trying to figure out the next thing you and me both friend i'm so glad you figured that out though like a year ago because i had just been posting like improv and like comedy and like povs here and there uh but as soon as you did that i was like that is so fucking smart that is exactly what we should be doing uh you really founded like acting talk in a lot in in, in so many ways definitely a full-time gig yeah I love your work. I love your work. Oh, also, your editing is so freaking good. Oh my god! Like the quality of your work from the from the time you have started to now, you're a full on production team. Um, are you a one man shop? I know you have your husband. Is it Marshall? Right? You have Marshall. Uh, but I think from what I've seen of you behind the scenes, you're doing all your editing and post and stuff yourself. Yeah. The only video I seen on my FYP was the librarian video. Yeah, I don't really get put on the FYP lately. Except random trends I do here and there. And I'm like, I guess people don't really like my long form acting scenes anymore. Marshall helps me film sometimes, but I edit everything by myself. Yeah, it's crazy. You're doing great. Um, are you still offering classes? I know I, I lurk. I lurk on all my friends and I look on a lot of different people. Uh, but I know you were doing like Zoom classes and stuff. Uh, are you still doing those? Because uh, I imagine TikTok and YouTube takes up probably a large portion of your time. I struggle with my day job, streaming on Twitch, making TikToks, and then still trying to upload to YouTube. I need to get on YouTube shorts. I need to do all these things. You found me via the FYP? Oh, thanks, Phil. Appreciate that. I do teach all the time. That's awesome. Um, that was something I had been meaning to do. I feel like maybe you connect with this. There's so many different like avenues of things we can do. Repurpose content for YouTube and Instagram. That's smart. Yeah, I was talking to Chris about that too. And he was like, dude, just repost your stuff on Instagram because it definitely works. My issue is most of my content is 60 seconds and I don't know why Instagram Reels is only 30 seconds. Hey, Phoenix, thanks for the host, friend. First got on my FYP with the comedic acting challenge that kept coming back in page until I followed. Hey, we weren't going to let you go. Yeah, my like 1820, like my, or no, my 1812 thirst trap seemed to do well. I was just wearing a bow tie and made a little bit of eye contact. You know, I got that idea from like a beautiful teenager I saw on my FYP. No shame, guys. I'll take I'll take inspiration from anybody. Beautiful teenagers on my feed. I'm like, we're turning that into an acting video. They, he was doing he was like he was just in like a Victorian shirt stand, staring out a window. And don't get me wrong. The dude was gorgeous. So it got like millions of views. And I was like, I can do that. So many different ways to go. You can always come co-host one of my classes. Oh, that would be so cool. That would be super fun. That'd be so fun. I'm down. I love teaching. People were hitting me up when I first started like gaining some traction. Uh, but my my issue is like hours in the day kind of thing. Um, just too many things to do. But coaching, yeah. I've, I've had a Patreon I've been working on for months. I know, I know a lot of you guys on Twitch right now are a little mad that I still haven't done the Patreon. <laughs> It's coming eventually by the time I'm 30. Who knows? <laughs> uh, do you have a Twitch, Eliana? Can sh sh give you give you a small little give you a little shout out. Ich habe in Berlin gelimp, seit ich zehn war und ich werde so viele Harte nehmen gewandt, weil ich Deutsch spreche. Aber es ist schön, dass ich hier sprechen kann. Ach so, das ist ganz cool. Berlin gefällt mir ganz mehr. Es ist so schön. Very many. I do. I never use it though. You should, Eliana. In my opinion, in my opinion, Twitch is uh, it, there's a it, there's a little bit of a learning curve in terms of the technicals to get started up. But you already have the background and all the skills you need, and you can use your DSLR. Uh, but in my opinion, it's like one of the easiest ways to just kind of like quickly monetize and connect with your audience. Uh, and a lot of what I do is like just chatting. Like right now we've been streaming, right guys? We've been streaming for like an hour and we've just been chatting. So I could tell her to come to Twitch. Guys, she's in Orlando. It's busy. Leave her alone. <laughs> we go in German. 
Uh, yeah, oh yeah, I, I'd be, we can talk about it sometime if you want. Uh, I got a lot of thoughts on it, but I definitely, uh, it, you know Chris, Chris Merkins, I think? I'm, uh, how do you, on Twitch. So there's a few different ways. So once you become an affiliate, which you would do in a week, there's a few qualifications to become a Twitch affiliate, but once you become an affiliate, people can um, donate bits, which is like Amazon's currency. Um, and the exchange rate is way better than like Twitch or TikTok lives. Uh, people can subscribe to you, which is the base rate is, uh, <laughs> is uh, 4 dollars and then you get half of that. And then people can donate directly. Uh, and then from there, you can do whatever you want. A lot of people play games. I chat. Uh, I do play some games as well. Um, you could even just like talk about acting or whatever. This Sunday, I'm doing the first episode of my podcast. I'm having another content creator and actor on and we're just going to talk about life and stuff um but especially what i do here which works a little bit is i just go live here and i put on a green screen just to notify uh and then you can do like a swipe up on your instagram uh or post on instagram and uh but chris merkins she does it. a lot of people are on here caleb finn aviana sophia uh it's it's just like a really easy way i think to connect with your community have longer form content uh, and you can repurpose your streams as well. Like a lot of people make TikToks from their streams as well. Uh, but if you if you have any questions, a lot of people help me get set up. I'm I'm happy to answer any questions. Welcome in stream is been and simmer auch under in Deutschland wherever. Yeah, we have a few Deutschers in here, oder? Are you more of an external in or an internal out actor? Oh, that's a good question. External in or internal out actor. Personally, guys, um, I'm 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 very much a physical actor. So if you're familiar with like Alexander techniques um, and some miser, I kind of pick and choose different techniques. Uh, I'm not really, I'm not a one shoe fits all. One of my favorite acting coaches told me that like every technique or strategy or whatever you want to learn, like just think of it like a keychain, and you're just getting a bunch of different types of keys. And every every opportunity and moment is just going to be a little bit of a door. So I'm very much a physical actor. My uh, my body kind of rules my emotions. So I do a lot of physical type of techniques. I focus on uh, physical work uh, and uh, uh, kinest kinesthetic responses. So that my background is improv. So I try to be as present as possible. Uh, if you're familiar a little bit more, look into first, second, second, first circle, second circle, third circle. Uh, that's the improv basis that I kind of work around. Based in Meisner, but I don't have a specific technique, just have tools. I totally agree, Eliana. I totally agree. Because every, everything, every moment is different. Um, and for me, guys, acting is just all about listening. It's just all about being authentic in the moment so that you can react in character with an emotionally authentic response. And I think it was, I think it was Jeff Bridges or maybe it was Bill Burr that said like, anybody can act, which I totally agree with. Like anybody can give like a Meryl Streep performance in their shower, right? But it's just all about helping train your body so that you can do it next Tuesday at 3 p.m. So I think we all have the tools within us it's just all about finding things that help you elicit an authentic emotional response as quick as you can. Where do I live? Yeah, I'm in Los Angeles, Eliana. Uh, I've lived up and down in California. Hey, thanks, Erica Maria. I appreciate you. The vibes in the stream are immaculate. Well, I, you know what? I've said this before, but, uh, you know, I, I appreciate you guys hanging out. Live streaming with you guys three times a week is really the highlight of my week. Uh, it really, really is. Especially with, I mean, I don't know where I would be if I didn't build the community I have. I'll let you get back to your stream. I'm going to go watch Shit's Creek. Hey, it's a great show. Enjoy it. Uh, I'll talk to you later, Eliana. Let me know if you have any questions about anything or you want to chat or anything like that. I'm uh, always available. Have a fantastic night. When's my birthday? August 15th. I didn't know I was going to get effing inspired as hell today. <laughs> Zach, do you remember that show you told Alex to watch to distract them? They're a bit down again. Uh, I think it was Avatar The Last Airbender is the show. Bye, I will. All right. See you later, friend. Okay. What's up, guys? What's, what's, what's hippie happen? Am I on Twitch right now? Yes, I am. Guys, if you're watching on TikTok right now, uh, we're live on Twitch. This live stream is going to end a little bit. It's just, it got extended a little bit because we were chatting. 
Uh, but come on over to Twitch. We're going to be live streaming for the next two to three hours. Avatar. Avatar is cleansing to the soul. Just trying to, trying to see if my cat was around. All right, I'm finally cooling off. Cooling off a smidge. Rinse the tie-dye. Nice. I haven't made a tie-dye shirt in a long time. No worries. Steve and Steve coming. <laughs> they, they still are, Twacky. They so are. They so are. Yeah, Avatar The Last Airbender is definitely, like, in my top five all-time favorite anime. Have to drive from North Carolina to Florida all night tonight? Ooh, that is rough. When are you leaving? What time? Isn't it already freaking 10 p.m. for you? Just got back from a trip to Boston? Hell yeah, Abby. Hell yeah. I've never been to Boston, but I'm told it's a cool city. I've tried the last airbender. Is a childhood show I go back to every year. You gotsta. You gotsta. Thanks, Erica Marie. Your birthday is on a Sunday this year. That'll be a poggy stream. Ooh, yeah. I'll, de I'll probably, I'll definitely stream on my birthday. You got the cat. I have gotten the cat. Connect more to scripted acting than improv. Okay, usually I have to start with internal work. Then I use physical to recreate the performance. Does that make sense? Yeah, totally. There are no wrong uh, answers when it comes to acting. Stream on your birthday? Yeah, probably. I mean, guys, uh, I can't commit to something four months away, okay? I'm, I'm just now getting better at committing to stuff because I have a cat. Have I watched Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? Yes, I have. That's... That is the, like, whenever people say, hey, I'm thinking about getting into anime, that's where I push them to. Won't be a year streaming in August, too. Ooh, it might. Yeah, that'll be a big one. Poggers. I mean, guys, the schedule may or may not change. This was, this schedule, we didn't stream on Wednesday this week. This was a Thursday, Friday, Sunday. Oh, guys, by the way, um... If you haven't done this, uh, tomorrow, or Sunday is our first uh, the ep first episode of our on-stream podcast. Uh, we need to come up with a name. Stream Chats with Zach is all I got. Stream Chats with Zach, colon. I don't know what to name this podcast. But if you have any questions you want me to ask Meg about anything or you want something for us to talk about, uh, fill this out, okay? Fill this out. Type whatever you want. Where do I check my answers? What people have submitted. Right here, right? Oh, response. There's only four responses, guys. Ginger snaps a podcast, a Twitch podcast. I don't want to use the word Twitch, though. The cow chat. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about doing something cow. Zach's chats. Guys, why are there only four responses? What the fudge? I thought you guys liked Meg. Do I need to tell Meg we don't like her? Is that is that the is that what I'm getting from this? You guys don't like Meg? Is that what's going on? Really? Because only four people have questions for Meg and I. Where's the form link? The form link is on uh, events in the events tab. Well, you got a funny, you got a funny way of showing it. You got a funny way of showing it. I've worked all day, I write so many questions now that so. <laughs> Love it. I love it. What are my pronouns? My pronouns are he, him. I've been thinking about for years he, they, but I don't feel confident enough yet. So just he, him. There's no sorting quiz on what kind of bender you'd be? That's ridiculous. I like stream chats, z stream chats. But what if we move off stream? I want it to be equal parts whimsical and not. 
Podcast Sax Cowcast. It's made it good. I like it. It's a good point. It's a good point. Okay, TikTok, I'm going to end this stream in about five minutes, but if you want to hang out for the next three, two to three to four hours, just come on over to this link, link in bio. We got a great community here. We're chill friends and we're going to, we're going to be vibing all night. We got a new episode of The Walking Dead to start. Why am I incapable? Guys, it's just, it's right here. Go to the Discord, go to the events tab. It's right here. Events tab, oh, I guess you can't see. Events. Right here. Bup, 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 bup. Hey, Zach, what's up, Rach? It's going well. I've had a little bit of mint tea, so the caffeine is... Boop, 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 boop. Uh, my mom and my sister are coming to visit tomorrow, so I need to feel, I feel like I need to get my life in order a little bit. Oh, there's one more thing to open. One more thing to open. I think it's a vinyl. Oh, I love, I love when you guys send me vinyls. I put, I put a list on, in the Discord of vinyls that I want. New here, why the cows? My last name is Cowin. All right, what do we got? Oh! Another hippocampus! You guys are sending me all the hippocampus. Hell yeah. Now I've got their EP, and this is probably my favorite album of theirs, too. Is there a note in here? No note. Whoever's sending me all the hippocampus, thank you so much. All right, we're gonna add it to the collection. Our collection is growing. We are at four vinyls, friends. We're getting up there. All right, let me cool off for a sec. Oh. I might do some late night DIY stuff. Growing record collection, hell yeah. And Amoeba just opened up again in Los Angeles. But you know it's probably overpriced as all hell. Okay, friends. Um let's see what happens when I Google ask me a random question. What happens when I Google ask me a random question? No, I want to I want a random question generator. Random question generator. Okay, let's see. Is this going to be any good? Wait. What was my favorite book as a child? Kind of books are on my shelf. A lot of, lot of fiction. A lot of fiction. Uh, favorite books as a child? Um, probably the series of Unfortunate Event. I have all of them. But on this shelf back here is a lot of fiction. I have Robin Hobbs' Elderling series. I have some Game of Thrones book and a lot of assorted fiction. I've got a lot of books. I've got some books here and then uh, there's a bookshelf right here you can't see back here and then I have some on the wall as well gotta go to bed see you later Victoria thanks for hanging thanks for hanging out friend uh, so yeah I think the series of unfortunate events have I heard of name of the wind yeah the king killer chronicles are my favorite series of all time favorite genre of fiction uh, I would call I would say epic fantasy I like really long books so the elderling series by Robin Hobb is like 18 books I'm working my way through the rift war cycle which is 30 books I'm on book I think like nine or something or maybe ten um, I've read uh, the powder mage trilogy I've read all of the Game of Thrones uh, I've read uh, um, <clears throat> uh, the Blade itself, Joe Amercrombie. I was working my way through Mistborn. 
So I read, I read like epic fantasy. Think Game of Thrones, but Game of Thrones is like entry level. What job won't be replaced by machines or computers anytime soon? Texas accent. Say your favorite movie line from two movies, different genre. Say that's such a specific question. How am I supposed to remember a favorite movie line from two different movies? Two favorite movie lines? All right, well, uh, one I really like is the D is Silent Hill, Billy. <laughs> and uh, another one is probably... Uh, All that's coming to mind right now is Wilson! Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no legs! No worries, Kai. No worries. Guys, feel free to take all the time you need. Feel free to dip in and out. No need to, uh... No need to update me, but I appreciate it. What's up, Chloe? Is it Jinlin? Lieutenant Dan! Okay, what job won't be replaced by machines or computers anytime soon? Have I seen Devil all the time? I have not seen Devil all the time. What's that about? Uh, but I appreciate it, guy. Um, yeah. I don't know. What's a good question? Uh, what job won't be replaced by machines? Or computer? I feel like a lot of them. Uh, I guess maybe directing. Directing movies and stuff. In place. I would say acting, but damn, those, those artificial intelligent actors are getting real good. Just call me pronounce Nicole. All right, sounds good, Nicole. Good to meet you. All right, we're moving on. I don't like that question. What is one thing, what one thing do you really want but can't afford? I feel like I have most things. I'd like to have a Twitch. I keep wanting to buy a Twitch, but then I just, I just spend like $250 on uh, equipment upgrades for my self-tape setup and uh, my streaming setup. So a Twitch, a Switch, sorry, Switch, <laughs> a Switch, a Switch would be good. Uh, a motorcycle, I'd love to have a motorcycle, but honestly, I don't think I could. That fuckhead. Okay, we got it, you got it, you got a big PP, big PP alert, big PP alert driving by. I'd love to have a motorcycle, but I couldn't afford, I don't think uh, the, the increase in insurance. Especially here in Los Angeles, guys. I was paying before, so I'm 26 now. And uh, if you don't know, before you turn 25, insurance is way more expensive. So I was paying $330 a month for a 2013 Corolla here in Los Angeles for insurance. Sound as Harley, you can have big people. No, I wouldn't want a Harley. I would want, um, did I save? I thought I saved, uh, I like this style. I like this style of motorcycles. Like maybe a little more modern. A lot a lot of a lot of my stuff falls into like kind of vintage classic. My friend said my style is like street classic. So I like like you know like Comfortable beat up jeans, chucks, a crisp t shirt, uh, uh, flannel, black on a motorcycle. The first thing you show us, nice. Uh, so yeah, and then my dad had a motorcycle growing up as well. Not growing up, from like age 18 to like something. Okay, if you, ha if you have a logo instead of a name, what would you want it to look like? This boy right here. Like a dog, yeah. Dog for sure. Crisp tea. Uh, guys, I'm happy to answer all your questions. If you're on TikTok right now, just come on over to Twitch and we can we can chat all day. Okay, what would you do if one day you woke up and every person was just gone without a trace? Probably travel the world. Probably go back to my hometown, cry a bunch, and then travel the world. Stanley Parable flashbacks. Yeah, that seems like a fun game. If all humans want the same basic things, why is there so much violence and strife between people? 
because people are greedy, people are corrupt, people get drunk off of power and abusing and exploiting and there's something intrinsically evil inside all of us and if it's nurtured, uh, it leads to very bad things. Did I draw my logo? No, uh, someone in our community, uh, uh, Jess did, or Art Cow. What keeps me up at night? The thought that no matter how much I try and how much I do, I won't achieve my goals. And Biscuit. And fucking Biscuit. How you travel in the world when no one's there? You can't use things like planes and trains now? Uh, you could teach yourself. You could, if you, if no one's around, you can teach yourself. And the internet wouldn't go away. You just need a sustainable source of electricity as well. What are my goals then? My goals are to sustain myself from acting alone, to reach a point in my career where offers are being extended to me, to where I could choose to leave LA and it wouldn't negatively impact my career, and I can jump from stage to screen. Uh, and I would like to make as much as a teacher in this country, which I think median, last time I looked it up, median salary of teachers in the US was like 80 something grand. No, it's actually lower. 61, 70, I feel like it was more. Uh, what? Oh, this is 2018 to 20. Anyways, 61, it's like 62 grand. Um, so the, uh, the minute I know that like that amount of income is secure for me, like if I wanna keep acting or stop acting or whatever, the minute I know that that is secure, uh, I will know I've achieved my goal. Yeah, you should do more collaboration on TikToks. Thanks, Sage. Not making that much in the. Well, it was supposed to be. Uh, it was supposed to be. Uh, I don't know. I remember asking Google like a year ago, and it said like eighty grand. So maybe it just pulled it from a. Maybe it pulled it from something else. You will get there. Oh, thanks, Eric Marie. I appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I know, I know, it's not the typical answer you get when talking to an actor. Uh, but I, I honestly was never really interested in fame or riches. Uh, obviously I'd love to be comfortable and, you know, take my family on vacation a few times a year and, you know, get them nice things. Um, but yeah, I mean, a lot of you guys know this about me, but I, I never wanted to really be a professional actor, to be honest with you. Um, I've always loved acting and theater and improv, um, but it took me a long time to decide if I wanted to do this professionally, because in my opinion, there's a big difference between loving something and trying to make money off of it. Uh, and I still don't even know if I'll be an actor to this day. I have a lot of other things I want to do in my life. Time. Um, so yeah, this is just kind of where I'm at right now. Yeah, too old for this. Yeah, yeah, totally. Depending on where you are, you make a lot different. What was the last movie that made me cry? I cry at every, pretty much every movie. But the last one that made me, like, sob was Beautiful Boy. Beautiful Boy. What's the closest thing to magic that actually exists? Uh, love. <laughs> love. Um, unexpected naps are basically, like, time teleportation. Have I ever watched Lion? I have not. Oh. Wish I knew the feeling. Hey, one day, friend. What do I do differently than most people? I'm gonna let you guys answer this one for me. What do I, what do I, from your perception, especially some of you have known me for five, six, seven, eight months now, and um, you know, some, some of you have known me for that long and hang out with me like, you know, 10 to 15 hours a day. Some of you guys hang out with me more and see me more and chat with me more than like my family. What do I do differently than most people? View love as a fairy tale at this point? I think, I think people have misconceptions about love. Accents, your accent better than most people, okay. That's fair. 
Also, look at this cute lo-fi mix. Very positive and tenacious. Feel you don't give up. Okay, appreciate this. Look at this guy. You got warming, warming my, warming my little, my little Grinch heart. Oh, sorry about that, friend. Uh, no, no links. Connect authentic with your followers more than a lot of people on TikTok. Okay, I buy that. Hopefully, this doesn't uh, make me too. Uh, Blah, 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 blah. Okay, ignore that, please. Cooler than most people. Nice. We we have a. Uh, this is kind of curly bedhead. You guys, are, you guys digging curly bedhead today? Hey, thanks, Sage. Appreciate that. Realistic views about yourself, connected with who you are more than most people. Grounded. I appreciate. It. I do work on that. Willingness to grow and evolve to better yourself. People around you makes. I agree with that, Carly. I feel like that. I feel like a lot of us feel that way, or a lot of us. I feel like that is a common theme in this community for sure. People's feelings, even if you don't really know them, which is really grand. Trait. Oh, thanks, Sage. Sometimes I worry too much about people's feelings, which is something I'm working on in my personal life. Sorry. Seem really down to earth. Hope you're all good. Hey, thanks, Ben. Tabletops, great name. XXX, dicey. <laughs> Much love from Cali, brother. Misconceptions about love is that we only use one word to describe. Yeah, we'll talk. We'll, let's talk about love in a sec. Fairy tale. I don't believe in it anymore. Is romantic. You're honest, but in a way that's not bitter. Okay. So here are my thoughts. Here are my thoughts and feelings on love. Um. Will you hush and tell us your sign? Sorry, Anna Montana 00. If you could take five seconds to just look right up here, you'd see that I'm on another live stream. Uh, and I do get bombarded with that question a little bit. So I don't really appreciate your tone, but I wish you a fantastic day and farewell. Uh, so anyways, my thoughts on love is we are so brought up on this conception of it which is like idealize and romanticize you know whether it's in books poetry movies the way we talk about um and like we're so focused on it you know like even when you're in school and like different countries remark on this so this is a perspective coming from the united states but it's like i don't know about you guys but like i was i was very romantically inclined like i was always thinking about girls and like it's like oh who do you like like we're so focused on love but by the same token we we don't teach kids or adults the same tools with how to be in love how to understand love what is healthy we just have this idealized picture and you know everybody wants the one we're in such a monogamy centric culture that it's like you know if you especially if you're a, a woman and please everybody else share your perspective on this but you know you reach a certain age and like you're viewed negatively in the society if you haven't found a partner for a lot of people but especially women so love is a very complicated thing because it's not that ideal it's not that idealized thing see you later sage um but that's that's not to say love isn't like a beautiful and powerful thing but it's it's much more grounded like you know when you if when you meet someone and you love someone like it's not going to be all sorry hollywood is so loud it's not going to be all rainbows and sunshine and kissing the ground they walk on you know like it takes work and in a lot of ways we have to choose love and we have to choose to decide to grow with someone so i think i think a little bit the fetishization and fantastic elements of it tend to set a lot of us back and give us commitment issues because the second things get hard we're like well is this even love and it's like well maybe we just need to cut ourselves a break and remember that this is another person because like how can we expect to love someone if we're expecting this like perfect thing has started to redevelop platonic love yeah platonic love is great for just over three years nice guy Highly recommend Daniel Sloss's comedy special Jigsaw because he breaks down our obsession with finding the one. Okay, Dahlia, that's awesome. I'll check that out. Given I'm trying to understand, you've generally approachable demeanor and are brave enough to be playful with people, a pleasant time with your best. Hey, thanks for this, friend. Thanks for that. I don't know what to call you, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna call you uh too I'm gonna call you too old. Family and friends think I'm not doing a long life. I don't have a man, yeah. My family's pushing me to get a boyfriend, I'm fucking 21. Yeah. 
I would say it'd be true for women if we choose to be single. Yeah, totally, especially, and like, even if women decide to get married or female presenting people decide to get married, then you have a whole thing with kids, you know? And like, I look at it because I'm an actor. I look at it with actors. Like, you can just look at red carpet questions. You know, if they ask, a husband and wife can be together, they'll ask the wife, like, you know, where's the kid? Or like, it's like, there's no winning with women. It's like, if you're, if you're focusing on your career and you have kids, it's like, well, you're not home enough. If you're home too much, it's like, well, are you even satisfied? Meanwhile, I feel like a dad can walk out with a kid one day and they're like, he's so good with them. Are you playing? Or even on the inverse side, it's like, oh, are you playing babysitter for a day? And it's like, no bitch, I'm their fucking father. I'm not babysitting. This is my responsibility. Don't understand there's nothing wrong with a breakup because they are so focused on, sorry, it's moving to the, finding the one, yeah. Revelation, I think we all have to learn on a place it hits you in experience. Yeah, totally, Aaron. Most media consumed children are often one partner, soulmate experience, yeah, totally. I don't believe in, I don't believe in a soulmate. I believe in soulmates because I have changed, I'm 26, I've changed so much since I was 23, since I was 20, since I was 17, since I was 14. So it's like, in my opinion, love comes from understanding and a commitment to grow with somebody, you know, not necessarily. Cause, and, and I think another problem with love is like, you know, I feel like the way we look at it now, it makes someone else responsible for our feelings, you know, like I'm in love, they are giving me everything because I'm love. When in reality, and it should be, in my opinion, you truly love yourself, you are happy and independent, you meet someone else that amplifies how you feel about yourself or makes you wanna be a better person. And you, the most important part is you find joy in watching them live their life. And my favorite relationships or what it flings, Tris, whatever, my experiences have been where I genuinely find so much joy just watching them live their life and interact. And then I say, I want to be a part of that experience. I want to be with them while they, I want to watch them experience life. Red carps, no bitch, I'm the fucking father. <laughs> hey, Norma, how you doing? We were going to play games, but we might just keep chatting for a bit. If you push early into something, you're going to end up resentful if you don't grow in the same complex. You know, I don't know. I have friends, um, you know, I come from a pretty conservative religious area. I have friends that have been married since 20 and they're so fucking happy. And uh, I have friends that are still figuring things out that are so fucking happy. I don't think that's, and that's what's complicated. Much like acting, there's no right or wrong answer to this. It, that's why it's just important to be honest and authentic and really care about someone. Hard filled breakdown. Some of my best friends come from wanting to share their life and I think it's a beautiful connection. Yeah, I mean, Another thing, another thing that I, the way I look at love is, um, is the understanding. What appeals to me, what true love is to me is having like a partner in crime, someone that just understands you to such a depth that you, you get to have that shared connection and you get to have that different style of communication. You get to just interact differently. You get to have that support. So for me, that's, that's what love is. Grow as we go by Ben Platt. Ben Platt, yeah. Friends to lovers best, yeah. I think there's, and I don't, I think that's important. I don't think it's mandatory. I do think that there are amazing relationships that just start romantically from the get go, but it's a different process, right? If you meet someone, let's say you meet on a dating app and you know, the intent the whole time is to date. Uh, but it's just a little different, right? Because you start with the romance, you start with the infatuation, and then you learn as friends from there. But if you start with a friend, that's out of there. You start with the platonic and the other stuff. I don't think there's a right or wrong, but I do think... I do think the starting as friends is lower stakes, right? You know what I mean? Messenger I've been talking to on Hinge. Have been single forever. I feel a bit behind in relationships to dating. You know, if I totally connected that film. I'm I'm 26, as I've said. I have a brother who's almost 30. I have a sister who's 24. Uh, and if they're watching right now, hey, hey, babies. Um, and both of them are in serious, committed relationships. You know, one for 
I don't know, six years, like a while and another for a long time. Both of them are living or about to live with their partners. So I totally connect with that, especially as a middle child and as an artist. <laughs> I'm on a non-conventional career path, which is a whole other slew of things. And, you know, I just got a cat. So I get it, friend. I get it. Enemies to lovers? Yeah. Everyone's thought on dating apps. Uh, I've had luck. I've had some pretty good luck, Leslie. Um, my last long-term relationship, about a year and a half, we met on Tinder when I had first moved to LA. Um, I've had a few like little flings. I, I have no qualms with dating apps because for me, a, a dating app is exactly the same as meeting someone out in the real world. The only difference is you have both agreed you're there for romantic intent. So it's 2021. I don't think there's anything wrong with meeting people on the internet. Feel really behind compared to all my friends, yeah. But I think what I try to remind myself founding is just that like, there's a, what, what's that quote is that like, you're not early or late, you're on time. Like there are people that like, like fucking John, uh, John Hamm, you know, didn't start acting until his mid thirties. didn't get Mad Men until like his mid thirties, you know, Dax Shepard was trying for 10 years before he got punk. And I know that's an acting example, but like there are probably marriages that f they've met at 50 and they are more in love than people that have been together for 30 years. Like, I think the pressure, in my opinion, which I work on all the time, I'm not trying to preach anything. The pressure for me is not productive because like me feeling feeling behind. What does that do for me? I, I would be that time would be better spent being like not necessarily, but being on a dating app or working out or eating well, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't I try to I try to limit all of my negative thoughts if they're not productive. If they're not productive, I shut it down right away. Because what am I even doing then? You know what I mean? haven't dated in a long time. I feel behind on ways of dating for many reasons, but the right person will be understanding. Yeah, and guys, like, I don't think there's not, in my opinion, like, what what is there to be behind? Because, all right, take it from someone. Here's, here's an alternate perspective. I'm 26. I've been a serial monogamous. So up until my most recent girlfriend and I broke up, uh, which was, I think, like, September of 2018? 2019? I don't remember a bit ago. I had been, a, I had basically been in a serious monogamous relationship from age 17 on there, you know, and, and a bunch of different ones, you know, but most of them were about a year and a half, some were like two and a half years with short amount of like, uh, being single in between. And I would imagine Carly from understanding you, I don't think I, you or I have any other differentiating skills that are from, you know, almost like a work experience, right? Like if you're trying to find a job and you haven't had a job for like five years, you're like, oh fuck. But I don't think that applies to relationships because relationships, a positive relationship comes from being healthy and understanding and having communication skills in yourself. And you can learn those from other relationships, but you can learn those on your own too. You can learn those from your friends. You can learn it being solo. You can learn it from your family. So in my opinion, there is no like being behind or not behind like it just kind of, you know, you're kind of ready or you're not ready. Never met anyone worth giving up my independence for. I don't want to tell somebody where I'm going. Couples aside. Yeah. Hey, and that's totally fine too. Hey, what's up? Pastroni ravioli. Thank you for coming over from TikTok. We love when people come over from TikTok. You have the rest of your life to share with someone if you choose. I think it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, and if you never choose, that's okay too. There, there are so many... I have so many meaningful relationships in my life that are not romantic. Trying to focus on myself and enjoy life. Last guy I dated was so mean. Yeah, totally. A lot of us get burned too. I love dating. Yeah, I don't want anyone else in my house. That's fair too. Being single, there's always those lonely nights. Yeah. And I mean, you're going to have lonely nights even if you're in a relationship too crazy point in my life where I'm moving around focusing on my career totally and I know a lot of you guys not to not to throw this out there because this this is my least fucking thing this is my least fucking thing that people say it's like oh you're still young but to be true like in a lot of ways I'm still young too but like if you're if you're having this conversation right now and you're like you know 24 22 18 20 like 
in my opinion, don't even fucking worry about it. Because from my perspective, I moved around so much. I changed careers. I met so many different people. I went to school. I finished it. So like if you if you are stressing and you are young as well, don't even trip at all. If you're older, also don't even trip. But like I feel like especially being young is like a great time to be single as someone who wasn't single. Uh, but also I fucking hate when people say that. So if you don't like that, just totally ignore it. I hate when people use age. I was always the younger brother. I was always like around people older. I had a really fancy downtown suit and tie job when I was 22 in San Francisco. Like age doesn't mean shit. So, but I, I just mean that like specifically like 18 to like 20, maybe like 16 to 22 is such a volatile time. I didn't expect a Twitch stream on TikTok. I just downloaded. Hey, well, we'd love to have you here, friend. Definitely. People should absolutely take it on the place. I'm 24. Family keeps telling me. Yeah. But we're all on the same page here. And by a girl I was with because I like taking time to myself, which I get. Yeah. And I mean, it's, it's, it's important. It's important to find someone that understands boundaries. But it is also important to respect other people's boundaries like i was dating a girl uh when my ex and i broke up classic classic case of falling for the rebound uh but and i didn't mean to i was actually going to be single i was like zach you have not been single really in your adult life let's be single bada bing bada fucking boom he meets a girl that he liked um uh but in her case like she couldn't even commit to like hanging out with me once a week and I'm all for independence. Like I get busy and whatever, <clears throat> but there is a difference between someone being someone not talking to you for two or three days and then just being like, sorry, I was busy. There is always time to send a quick, hey, I'm really swamped right now. Get back to you in a few days or hey, I'm going to be swamped for X, Y. Like there are ways to healthy communicate. So make sure that you are expressing your boundaries and they're being respected, but also make sure that you are respecting other people's boundaries as well. You know, it's not fair to just say, hey, I needed space, you know, sorry, see you later, you know, and don't fucking talk to him. And then and then expect to come back and be like, why are you upset? You know what I mean? Everybody, it is totally reasonable to ask for space, but it is also super reasonable to give someone a very quick heads up. Uh, quarter life prices doesn't leave room for dating anyway yeah shit to worry about you and me both platonic romantic yeah so it's just it's all it's just all about a balance it's all about uh, a balance so so my my most important things in a relationship are communication because if i if i can't fucking talk to you like it's just done communication it's the first thing um that's really the, that's really just it. Everything else comes from that. Last relationship before I had not been single longer than six months as I said I really need to spend some time alone. Heck yeah, Hannah. Heck yeah. And there's nothing wrong with spending time alone. I'm 26 and I was like, I think I need to be alone for a little bit. I was just uh, I was just seeing a girl for probably like a month, like super casually. Um, and I'm I'm very direct. I'm very open about it. See you later, Kai. Sleep well. Uh, but you know after about a month i was just like i was like you know what like i think i think i need a full a full stop break and that was and that's you know that's a good example because that had been super healthy we had both been communicating our wants and needs you know it was staying fine for both of us but there's nothing wrong with being like you know what i think i just need some time and some space What's a platonic? A platonic relationship is a friend, just like a friendship. Platonic means there's no romantic intent. Really gets anything out of the relationship. I keep telling him that if it's a deal breaker, I don't mind cutting it off, but I talk to him every three times and I sex and try. Yeah, I mean, it is tough, Ange. It is tough. Um, and I struggle with that as well because Sorry, I'm, I'm cramping a little bit. I think I was just drinking the tea too fast. Um, because it's it's tough because, you know, that, that and that's something I struggle with, right? Like, because you can be very upfront with someone and you can, uh, uh, you know what, let's, 
let's uh let me make a list because these are all great conversation topics uh that i can talk about with meg i want to talk about love with meg because she's in a she's in a serious uh relationship topics with meg love communication boundaries um because at a certain point, when are you responsible for somebody, right? Like, let's say you've been very upfront with someone and you've expressed their boundaries, or you've expressed your boundaries, and they are totally okay with it, but you feel like they are not respecting themselves, right? Like, let's say, for instance, let's take Angie's example, for instance, like, I'm very busy. I really only want to have like a fuck buddy that I only talk to once a month and we fuck. Nothing wrong with that. As long as everyone's on the same page, I meet a girl in my case, because I'm heterosexual, she's super down for it. But every time we hang out, I feel like there's a little bit more. And that's tough. That is tough. Um, and I don't really have an answer for you, Ange, other than if you in my in my opinion, if you know in your heart that they're not on the same page as you, and they are verbalizing they are, but like maybe they are hoping things will change or whatever. In my opinion, you should probably break things off. Um, I've had to do that before. It's tough, especially when you've done nothing wrong. Um, but in my opinion, if you feel like you're on a different page, it's just gonna it's just gonna wind up hurting them. Um, and personally, I don't like to hurt people. Not that anyone likes to hurt people, but like I am not the kind of person that there's nothing wrong with this. But I do know people, I have friends that say, hey man, you're not responsible for them. If they want to get hurt, that's on them. But I can't, I can't do that. Um, and that's kind of a harsh way to look at it. And I've definitely been in those positions. And I've had things that got extended and I was very upfront. And I told them I wasn't looking for anything. And they still developed feelings and then it got messy and hurtful and... So some, some, sometimes you gotta not take uh, people in the short world. Dating friends ends up going south and it's sad. I don't know why, because you're so good as friends. Not Well, hey, same thing as roommates, right? Like, you know, I have so many friends that I freaking enjoy, but we, I would not, like one of my best buds, Kevin, we're like, we're good friends, but I don't think we could live together. I'm like, that's probably true guy was my friend he told me he liked me and i wasn't really sure and he sort of stopped talking to me and then ghosted me without saying anything yeah that's tough that's tough friend i think that means that wasn't your friend i think it means it wasn't your friend unfortunately unfortunately but you know i also see where they are coming from you know uh because you know maybe they develop feelings but they should have communicated that like if i had a friend that i was totally friends with and let's just say I developed feelings with, I would talk to him and I would say, hey, I just want to let you know I'm developing feelings. I wanted to connect with where you are. I'd love to pursue this, uh, but you are not responsible for my feelings. There's no obligation. And then if they said that they weren't, they didn't see me like that, I would say, no worries. Uh, I know this sucks because you didn't do anything, but I'm going to have to distance myself from this relationship because I'm no longer able to separate my feelings from this friendship and it is hurting me. Uh, I do love our friendship and I'm so sorry. I know it sucks, but it's what it, what's, what's best for me. And it sucks, but sometimes it happens. My best friend's a great roommate. Hell yeah, Carly, I bet you're a great roommate. Too nice and it's hard to break things off with someone. Yeah. I know, Nicole, I know that feeling too. It is very hard. But you gotta rip off the Band-Aid. I struggle with that a lot as well. Yeah, guys, if there's any topics you wanna talk about, you want me and Meg to talk about, use that form. <sighs> Sorry, a little bit sore. Your boy's been hitting the gym because it helps with his anxiety. <laughs> I enjoy these deep chat streams. I enjoy these deep chat streams. With the lo-fi. Lo-fi hits diff. If you don't think lo-fi hits diff, I'm sorry. A couple things on the form you should check out. All right, sounds good, Sage. I will definitely check it out. Moved to LA to live work with my best friend college and it destroyed our friendship. Yeah, that's tough. 
That's tough, especially moving to a new place. I hope you guys can reconnect. I've lost, I've lost a friend too from r rooming together. Getting weird and flaky, it does suck. They all simultaneously decided I was someone worth hating for whatever reason. I never found out. I have one friend who stuck with me through that I've known since I was two. Yeah. That's tough, Ben. <laughs> hey, thanks for the 38, Leslie. Uh, yeah, it sucks, Ben. Um, Lo-fi hits, but the J-A-Y-Z-Z -Z is missed. I've had that too. Not all my friends, but I've, I've had, uh, in college, I had one of my best friends, actually. I think I've told this story before. This actually really messed me up for a long time. Um, and it was kind of hard to trust people for a little bit. It was really messy and we haven't spoken about two years. Yeah, I know it. But I had a best friend in college. And if you're watching right now, brother, I don't know why you would be, but much love. Um, I had a best friend. We met freshman year. And uh, uh, college was a little bit of a tumultuous time for me, especially freshman, sophomore year. I really struggled with what to major with. You know, if I was deciding if I wanted to do theater, if I wanted to be an actor. I moved to San Francisco at 18. I knew nobody there. So this was one of my first friends and we had an acting class together and we got super fucking close. We did pretty much everything together. Fast forward about a year, we're taking a class together. Um, there, was a, there was a student repertory theater class, which basically means it's a theater company made by students, student directed. And I'll, I'll come back to chat in a sec, guys. I'm just gonna tell this anecdote. Um, student directed, student acting. And I was directing in it, and that was probably one of the most rigorous classes you could take because you were uh, constantly putting on a show. There was a new show every single week. You were involved in three of them. They had to be exactly an hour. You did all the lights, the costuming, every single thing. <clears throat> and as soon as you were done, you were working on the next one. So it's a very stressful time. And so I hadn't heard from him in a bit. He was also a director, but I knew he was busy. He was out uh, thrifting with my girlfriend. I had introduced him to my girlfriend uh, and they were good friends, which was great. It's great when your best friend and your girlfriend get along. And I hadn't seen him in a bit. And I just, I was texting my girlfriend and she's like, oh, I'm coming back to your place. You know, I was thrifting with Aaron. I was like, oh, cool to tell him I miss him just casually. And then she texts me and he's like, hey, he wants to know if he can like come over and talk. And I'm like, sure, yeah, no problem. The man comes over I proceed to have, this has never happened in my entire life, I proceed to have the most awkward conversation of my entire life. He sits me down, my girlfriend's there. I'll talk about that in a second. He begins to lecture me <clears throat> for about like an hour <clears throat> about how he can't be friends with me anymore, about how it's too much work for him to love me. And he throws all this shit out of left field. And like, you guys know me, like, I am I am super receptive to feedback. So it was my best friend. So I was like, I was like, please tell me what's going on. He told me that he thought I was like really fucking aggressive. He said I bully every single person I meet, uh, that I was like incapable of loving people. And I, since it was my I took it to heart. I was like, please give me examples. I was like, because I if this if this is what i'm giving up this is not the vibe i want to give off like if i'm hurting you or anyone like please tell i will change my behavior like i love you like if i am hurting you or hurting anyone i am i promise you it's unintentional i'm aware the man could not give me one example he could not give me one example and it took me a long time to figure it out <clears throat> what was shitty too is that my girlfriend was there uh, but she was tired from being out all day so she was like kind of in and out of napping and it wasn't it wasn't a uh, it wasn't like an aggressive conversation at all so the fact that she was there it made me like it made me more complicit because it seemed like she was kind of agreeing just from the fact that she wasn't saying anything and the fact that she came in the house and what was strange about the conversation is when he was done telling me he couldn't be my friend anymore and I was like, no worries, man. Like, if you don't want to be my friend, no problem. Like, if you don't want to be close friends, like, we can just, we can be acquaintances. We can just say hi in the hall. Like, no fucking worries, bro. Like, don't worry about it. When he was done with the conversation, he, like, talked, we talked about sports for, like, 20 minutes, and he hugged me goodbye. So that's how, the, this is a long story. That's how the, that's how that conversation ends. Um... My girlfriend and I were planning to go grocery shopping, so we go do that. We go up to my room. We have a little bit of a fight because I'm like, what the fuck? And she's like, what? And I was like, do you agree with him? And she's like, she's like, oh, I'm sorry. I was kind of tired. 
And I'm like, I'm like, well, do you agree with him? Like this guy literally just like shredded me for like an hour. Like I feel so attacked and like gross. And she's like, no, I don't agree with him. Uh, but she was not, she was being non-committal. She's like, no, I don't see what, like, I don't see that side of you, uh, at all. And that's a longer conversation about our relationship where it's a deal breaker for me, where I was like, I'm like, if you don't stick up for me, like, if I don't feel like you can't stick up for me, like when I need you to, like, I, I'm a strong independent man, you know, but like, if I'm, you know, I need you to stick up for me. Uh, and she never, she never stuck up for me. I was gaslit up the wazoo. So this, this story keeps going. I thought that was the end of it. I'm like, fine. He doesn't want to be friends. He said a lot of weird shit. And I took it very personally because he was my best friend. I had known him for like a year and a half. I didn't understand, but I was like, I got to fix this. Like I'm, I will fix myself if I, I don't want to hurt anybody. Fast forward a few months. We're still in the theater department together. This man starts spreading rumors about me he starts talking mad shit my girlfriend and i break up for a few reasons that's kind of one of them that's a little indicative of the relationship totally amicably i mean she was sad about it but like you know we ended on good terms we're still on good terms um you know i meet another girl that i kind of fall head over heels with this is this is like my long-term college relationship we were together for like two and a half years um uh, there's no overlap whatsoever, but he starts spreading rumors that I like cheated on my ex-girlfriend, that I do all this weird shit. We have a few contentious situations like uh, I uh, the the room where we did the theater show, uh, you know, because it was it was we would perform Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Friday. They would tear down the set. They would the next cast would come in. And so it was very common for directors to come in and talk to the cast and crew. So his show was coming in the next week. Uh, another friend hunter's show had just ended i walk in there just to say hey hunter really loved the show you did great i loved x just to pay my respects because it's a fucking difficult thing to do in front of like 20 people he turns to me he's like hey do you need to be here right now because he was loading in his stuff and i'm like excuse me he's like yeah do you need to be here right now and i'm like well uh, a lot of people are here that are not in your cast I'm literally just talking to another director, but no fucking problem. I'll leave. And over the course of the following year, because we were only sophomores, the man just keeps talking shit. And again, I hold nothing against this guy. I am only sharing my perspective and my story. If you're watching or anybody here, I got nothing for love for you, man. This is just my this is my story. And I'm I'm entitled to my own story and I'm telling it. And I'm telling, and I haven't told a lot of people this story. I haven't told a lot of people this story and it really hurt my feelings. He then continues to have weird interactions with other people in the theater department. There's like a few other situations where he does kind of weird stuff that made other people uncomfortable that I won't go into. Here's the kicker. Um, I go meet up with my ex-girlfriend uh, and I'll, I'll get back to chat. I, I will, guys. Uh, I, I meet up with my ex-girlfriend a few, like a month or so later. Like, you know, the, the classic, like, here are your things, give me my things. And we start talking. And he had a friend group that I was close with. And spoiler, I got ostracized from it. Uh, now I've kind of told, well, it's been fucking years, guys. This was 2013. Um, I was kind of ostracized. She was still hanging out with him. And I was like, how are things going? And she's like, oh, kind of fine. Da, 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 da. And I was like, are they talking about me? Is he? And she's like, yeah, a little bit. And I'm like, well, I was like, no, no pressure, no obligation. I was like, but now that you've had some space in the relationship, like I have been thinking about this a lot and I still don't understand what he's saying. Like, do you, um, do you agree with him? Because I still don't know how to change my behavior. If no one's going to give me examples of things I'm doing problematic, I don't know. And I was still trying to genuinely change. And uh, she disagreed with him, but she wouldn't give me anything concrete. She was like, no. She's like, I've never seen that side of you. So I can't really say anything. And I was straight up with her. I was like, I was like, I wouldn't say her name. I was like, I was like, there's only one side of me. I was like, you were with me for a year and a half. I love you. You loved me. You should know me by now. There's not, there's only one, like what you see is what you get. Um, that's kind of who I am. You know, I'm very upfront. However, she then told me that she wasn't hanging out with him anymore. 
because he confessed his feelings for her. I guess he had very, very, very deep feelings for her. He confessed his feelings for her. And when she churned him down, he did the same kind of thing and cut her out of the group. So that right there gave me a very, very full picture of what had happened. Um, <laughs> and I was talking about it with my mom and my mom and I are very, very similar. And she has had some similar experiences. Also, what's up, Seb? It is fucking crazy. She has had some similar experiences in her life where close friends of hers have done similar things. And um, she has basically said this a few times in my life where she says, Zach, if you are a confident person who is just living their life, Insecure people are kind of project onto you. They are going to take their insecurities and instead of doing the work in themselves, they are, it's much easier. It's much easier instead of saying, man, why do I feel this way? It's, hey, you're making me feel this way. Um, and so it was a really hard situation for me because he was, you know, he's my best friend and it really, <laughs> it really hurts, you know what I mean? I, I internalized a lot of it. So long story long, for that original comment of uh, I know what it's like to uh, lose a friend and uh, have it spin out a little bit and it definitely made the theater department uh, a very toxic place <laughs> not just him but there was another girl uh, which is a whole other long story we're on good terms nothing but love for her <laughs> also guys if you're watching on TikTok right now uh, we're on Twitch we're having a great conversation feel free to join us get in on the action so yeah, that's probably one of the harder situations I've had to deal with friendship-wise. Uh, let me see if I can backtrack some of the, uh, I can only go so far in some of these questions. You sure? Yeah. Dating friends, yeah. Break things off with, yeah, okay, cool. Lost off, got it, got it, got it. Love and communication can be so complicated. They definitely can, need practice. It's just all about practice, Climber. All in the open, Ghost and he just said, can I talk to you in 20? Yeah. It's tough, Ange, it's tough. I, I just went through that situation with that person. It's a lot of conversations. Not a true friend, yeah, gaslit. I let a girl move in from a bad situation a few years ago and she did something similar to me. Yeah, a lot of gaslighting. <laughs> Thanks for the support, guys. Took it so hard, I really don't see any of those things in you. I appreciate it, guys. Fair share of fake friends, yeah. Well, and the thing is, what it, what I've realized now is, um, if you're if you're anything like me, and if you don't have Twitch, guys, uh, you, it's just like YouTube. Just put it in your web browser. Um, I have found for me, in times of stress and in times of tr transition, because I have a pretty good judge of character, but in times of of stress and transition. Sometimes relationships develop in my life that I'm and I'm a little bit clouded by stress or moving components to maybe see certain things you sh I should have seen early on. It's kind of understand it put as I put an end to this. Yeah. Hey, Inch, I mean, it's nothing, nothing wrong with it. You know, you, d you deserve, we deserve kindness, even, even when breaking things off. Like we're not, we're not beholden to people just because we have different expectations. The only, the only time in my opinion, Ange, that you should feel bad is if you willingly continue to string someone along because they fulfilled something for you. This is not direct to you. This is like a general example. Stringing someone along because they give you a need even though you know that it is hurting them. Knew what gaslighting until a year ago. I never realized what it meant so many things. Yeah, gaslighting can be very specific. And the thing is, guys, a lot of people can gaslight without even realize they're doing it. You know what I mean? It's hard when you're stressing over thinking in a way more prone to negativity. Yeah. Well, and the thing is, I, you know, I don't blame him. I don't think it was, I don't, I don't think he's a bad person. I don't think he was always a bad person. I think we we're both stressful kind of stuff. I think he had felt a connection to my girlfriend. I think, you know, especially the, the rigors we were going through, um, you know, not to, not to brag, but they were, there were a couple people in the theater department that were I think jealous of me, you know, I, and, and this feels so braggy to say, but like, 
I didn't major in theater because I personally didn't feel like it was the right journey for me. I would kind I minored, so I would come out and go, and I understand where they're coming from. But when I came back into the department, I would land lead roles in the major productions. So I could I can see situations where people who were working on parts of themselves or whatever, you know, be mad at a guy that maybe wasn't really taking it as seriously, you know, and we all know theater types. Oh, Marina, what's up? We are, you know, it is so funny. Marina, that is so crazy. Marina, you got to come over to Twitch. One of my friends from college, Marina, we were just talking about love and whatever and gaslighting, and I just shared a story that you know very well. I haven't talked about that story for years, and I've actually never shared it. But like I said, guys, I have nothing but love and positivity for everybody, but, uh, you know, I'm entitled to my own story and my own thoughts and feelings, and I'm allowed to share it, and, you know, I won't give out any personal information, but that's how it made me feel, you know? But yeah, my, my college theater experience was very, is it about my old roommate? Uh, I don't remember if you guys lived together. Uh, letter, letter A, letter A, or are you talking about letter L? I haven't talked about letter L. I just, I just talked about letter A. Uh, yeah. I mean, think about the people that study theater. I mean, people are not well adjusted ever, but we have a lot of actors in here. A, yeah, Marina. Yeah. I was talking about that. Uh, we were just talking about love, and then we were talking about losing friendships, and I was like, I have a story. I have a story about that. Marina, what a time What a time to join. That's so funny. I have. I rarely talk about college. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, like, think about people that study theater. You know, think about people that are feel called to the arts. It's a very vulnerable thing. It's a very scary thing. You know, there's no one way to do it. There's no right or wrong way and then you know it is it is a no matter no matter how you break it down it's a very privileged thing to study the arts at university not a lot of people can do that for different reasons you know um so you just couple all of those things and you know i think a lot of people who went to theater school had not really super fun times and i'm one of them but that being said I met so many great people. I had so much freaking fun. I, I learned so much. Uh, I still have so many. Marina right here is a good friend as well, uh, who's also lives in the area. So, and uh, I personally, I learned a lot from mistakes and hard experiences just, just as much. But uh, that was my anecdote to, uh, uh, based off what you guys were saying, that I, I totally know what it's like to uh, lose a friend and be gaslit. Uh, Caitlin, I'm so sorry. I don't think I saw your duet. The best way to get me to see your duets, guys, is comment on the original post. Because uh, TikTok notifications are a little tough. And uh, guys, if you're watching on TikTok right now and you want to be a part of the conversation, come on over to Twitch. We're just chatting about life. We might play some games, but uh, we've just kind of been chatting to life and listening to lo-fi. I hope you're doing well, Marina. Uh, are you still in the same spot? I know you were there for most of COVID. When you're 18 and alone for the first time, you don't know what to do. So a lot of college friendships. Yeah. A lot of relationships in college too are um, based off necessity or proximity. A lot of acting programs put people through what is essentially a form of emotional damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you listen to interviews about Juilliard, I'd be like, oh, my God. Can you tell Marina we say hello? Marina, my chat says hello. Yeah, I am. Okay. Well, I hope you're doing well. We should uh, we should definitely catch up soon, friend. Thanks for thanks for jumping in. You jumped in at a hilarious time. Never had a long-term healthy romantic relationship. Yeah. It can be overrated. They can also be very beautiful. Duh. <laughs> I read that people who have been involved in theater in their lifetimes tend to be better empaths. Yeah. I mean, really acting is just being empathetic, right? Thanks, Eric and Marie. I appreciate it. Low-key wish I went to college. I wasn't financially able to. I felt missed out on a lot. Honestly, Marina is an amazing name. Not heard it before. I agree. Um, <laughs> I just got your text. Um, I don't think you missed out a lot on college. Really, really, college is just like a way to spend 18 to 22. You know what I mean? I don't think the degree... Uh, I don't think the degree is necessary... Uh, but I totally get what you mean. I went to a commuter school, 
So I didn't really get like a traditional experience either. So it's just really just gives you an excuse to party. But I, I totally get what you mean. Tough to find that, especially when I didn't know what I wanted. Yeah, knowing what you want is tough too. What a wild ride. What a wild ride. Yeah, I have a few, I have a few long college stories that definitely shaped me. Uh, I don't know if you're still here, Marina, but I saw, I saw your text. I'll definitely get back to you uh, when I'm when I'm done working. But we 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 for sure should. College is one expensive ass party. Yeah, and then COVID hits, so no party. Yeah, Zoom party, homies. We're partying right now. Take a shot. Take a take a fucking shot. Take a fucking take a fucking shot right now. It's fucking Friday night, you old bitch. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Don't take a shot unless you want to. And if you're underage, don't take a shot, guys. For the record, if you are under 18, you need your parents' permission to watch this. Hello, friends. Hey, what's up, Jordan? Just got done with a long shift. Happy to be here. Hell yeah, yeah. We're just chilling. We're talking about life. College is a fan is is for cocktail parties, and he's a doctor. It really is. You need a degree until you're 23. You don't need a degree. Schrodinger's cat girl. Where's my cat? At? Oh shit! What time is it? Okay, I gotta feed my cat in like a half hour. Got any advice for finding out what you want? My advice for finding out what you want, well, I found out what I want through relationships. <laughs> I've been in a lot of uh, committed relationships. I've also been in a lot of... Uh... Hold on, I got an email real quick. Okay, sorry, I just, uh, I emailed my, my uh, I hit a month after signing with this new agency and I hadn't had an audition, so it was just kind of like, hi, checking in, did you forget about me? Um, but I have learned what I've wanted in a partner kind of through trial, trial, trial and error, trial and experience. Um, but if you don't want to do that, you know, I would, I would just uh, pick the brain of people that are in relationships or out of relationships, like, uh, you know, ask them about their relationship, ask them about tough experiences ask them about failed relationships ask them about lessons they learned because i've been in relationships where my boundaries weren't being respected but i didn't realize it's because i wasn't communicating them properly i've been in relationships where i was communicating properly but they weren't i've been in relationships where you know it was just kind of physical and intense i've been in relationship been in a lot of different kinds so did you change where the Final Fantasy is stored now on your PC? I didn't forget, Alex. I just didn't get around to it. <laughs> In my experience, I feel like I always had to prove myself. Yeah, I totally get that, Carly. Sometimes I feel that way with acting because I, I, don't, ha I don't technically have a degree in acting. And even if I did, it would be from a state school, not a conservatory program. So I totally get it. But... What I have learned, Carly, is my life has given me a certain experience and a set of skills that are different. And at the end of the day, there is no right or wrong or better or worse. There's just differences. And my differences make me unique and that's valid. If you intentionally search for a relationship, you get disappointed most of the time. I don't know if I agree with that. I don't know if I agree with that. I think if you are intentionally using a relationship to fulfill a need, you should be fulfilling yourself, you'll be disappointed. But I don't think there's anything wrong, wrong with wanting a relationship or seeking out a relationship, but it has to come from honesty. And the motivation has to be a, uh, a healthy one, whatever that means to you. Relationship take work? Yeah, they do. Yep, totally professional opera singer I never studied opera in college yeah got a point you're right uh but no reason it's easy for me to like elaborate and sound fancy and then you're like you're right you I, I i totally get what you mean yeah i mean i'm a professional actor i'm in the screen actors guild and i technically have a minor in theater and uh i feel just as qualified as any other fuck i feel like you could throw me in a marvel movie tomorrow and i would fucking charm america i can't promise i'd be the best actor but i'd be like fucking damn it i'm gonna be charming I think one of my favorite stories is um, 
when uh, uh, Donald Glover was reprising the role of, uh, of Lando in Star Wars, he sat down with the previous Lando and he went on this big spiel. He's like, what do you feel about X, Y, and Z? Like, I think it's because of his mother. And he did that. Like, he really went, went into the psychosis of the character and the previous actor just looked at him. He's like, I don't know about all that shit, man. Just smile and be charming. And I'm like, yes, yes. That's, that's what I do, baby. <laughs> Clip later on in your career. Oh, I, I've never once in my career have I claimed to be a fantastic actor, but I feel like I'm at least a smidge charming. You know what I'm saying? Smile and wave, boys. He can tell us that he convinces us. <laughs> if you set unhealthy, unrealistic expectations for yourself, yeah, totally. Intentional is exactly what you want, yeah. Incredible. Incredible. All right, guys. Uh, I gotta take I gotta take a quick break to feed my cat. Uh, so let me feed the cat real quick, and I'll be right back. Uh, if you guys are watching on TikTok, I'm actually gonna end this live stream now so that I can use this phone to stream on Twitch. Uh, so thanks for coming out. If you want to join us, we're gonna be streaming for at least another hour, maybe more. Just come on over to this link. You don't have to download the app. Just throw it right in your PC uh, or tablet or phone or whatever. And uh, thanks for coming out, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're live streaming on Sunday with our friend Meg Mage. So take care, everybody. Have a fantastic Friday. Okay. I got to feed my cat. Okay, be right back, guys. Feel free to take a quick break if you want. Do whatever you got to do. Just take me a few minutes.
done this for several days now. We, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna take away your food. You also like to be pet while you're eating, so I don't really know what your deal is. It's nuts. Eat, eat your food. No room to judge your cat for being dramatic. I'm not dramatic though. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pet my cat so we bond. He just doesn't like to be approached. Sneaking, sneaking, sneaking some water in there. Hey, what's up, Mr. Lady Tusk? Good to see you. So anyways, yeah, that's my cat, Biscuit Jr. Just chowing down. Chowing down like the beautiful boy he is. So yeah, what were we talking about? Act like they haven't eaten in days. They really have. It's not my fault Hollywood's loud, brother. Since it's 5 a.m. See you later, Arson. Thanks for hanging out. Guten Tag, schlaf gut. How's he doing with his bathroom breaks? Using the litter box? Yeah, he was already litter trained, so we've had no issues. How long have I had him? Um, I think I picked him up on Monday night. I picked him up on Monday night, so it's been... We're on day four. He's skittish because he was abandoned as a kitten, and his ear's a little wonky, so I think he was attacked. And then all the, also his first foster mom was a little irresponsible, I'm told, and she took him to the park without a leash, and he got stuck in a tree, and the fire department had to come take him, get him out. Uh, but he's, he's warming up to me, he's warming up to me. He likes to be pet, he just doesn't like to be approached. In LA, I know, right? Yeah. Need a cat command. Oh yeah, we do need a cat command. Has been through, yeah. <laughs> we'll ensure it. Yeah, isn't how old is he? I think he's about they I think he's about four months old. He's he's a little big for his age, but yeah, he's he's about four months old. I'm told. He'll open up. Well he is he's very like affectionate and stuff. He just doesn't like to be approached. But like, you know, when he's in when he's in his bed, he because he he loves to be pet. He loves to be pet. Best of friends for you know, yeah. I got him an automatic water fountain, that came, because I was worried he wasn't drinking enough water. What, what? Why you keep looking at me, bro? <laughs> I think you'll treat him well. I think so too. He would be a four. They said he was, they said he was three and a half months when we started talking. So, but yeah, I don't think he's four months old. Biscuit is like, bro, I drink enough water stuff. But I, I sneak a good amount of water I sneak about like 
I usually sneak about three ounces in, in it at the stop and then he drinks it all and then I usually put about another fourth or a third of a cup in it while he's still eating. Um, but sometimes I leave the water out. Sometimes at night he drinks a good amount. But hopefully hopefully he drinks more now that I just have the water water fountain. He's six months old. I think he's a big boy. He's, he's a big, big boy. What's up, buddy? All right, I'm gonna go pet him. I'm gonna go pet him real quick. All right, I'm walking up. Just get it. It's okay. It's okay. It's so soft. Okay. Yeah, see, he loves to be pet. Hey, what's up, Liz? Hey, there you go. Liz, you seen the, seen the cute boy? He loves to be pet. He even stopped eating. He's, I feel like, honestly, I feel like they were slightly underfeeding him. No, Liz, didn't, didn't, isn't that one of the first things I said to you? Didn't I say you were like 5'4"? And I remember you just like liked the comment. I would die for biscuit. Liz does have 5'10 energy, that's for sure. Um, you missed it, Liz. We had a great conversation about love and boundaries and gaslighting, all kinds of stuff. Um, 
Yeah, I feel like they weren't feeding him enough. They were only feeding him... No, I think they were feeding him enough. They were feeding him... How much were they feeding him? Actually, no, I think they were feeding him enough. Never mind. Best Sagittarius there is. But anyways, I feel like he needed a little bit more food because he was just starving all the time. So I, so I, uh, I, I bump, I bumped up his diet just a smidge. Because the thing is, he was getting so hungry that he was eating his own litter. The man was eating his own kitty litter. It's like a happy little kitty. I hope so. Anyways, what were we talking about, guys? I think we should just keep chatting. Oh, maybe we'll play a game. I don't know what my energy height is. Apparently, I have short person energy, but I'm six feet tall, and that always surprises people. If he's abandoned as a kid, and he's probably food obsessed. Yeah, he is very food obsessed. He's slowing down to eat. He would scarf it down. He's slow. This is the slowest he's eaten. He may just be a burger breed, yeah. But he is so food obsessed. That's I can everything I convince him to do, I convince him with treats. Yeah, we were talking about gaslighting. Kitty licking the ball, yeah. Uh, but I feed him. I've been alternating, but I feed him uh, for the whole day. He gets three ounces of wet food, and he gets half a cup of dry food for the full day. Hey Zach, want to play Valorant with Liz? Wherever Liz is. Uh, I am down. I don't think I want to play Valorant on stream though, Liz. To be honest with you. But I do want to play Valorant with you. In general. Where you put food in them and they dig them out. Ooh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. He really liked the little mouse toy today. I put a mouse toy on the fishing pole. He loved that. We played with the fishing pole today. Short person with short person energy. No one could tell me otherwise. Kind of look like your cat. Yeah, it was just kind of worked out that way. I have five, two energy and five, five. Short person. We talked about this last time. Somebody, somebody, somebody else can break it down. He was also not in the scratch tower. He was also in a, oh, he loves the scratch tower. He loves the scratch, I think he's done. It's the first time he hasn't finished all, and I actually gave him less today. I actually gave him a little bit less today, so. Left it out. And she's, I asked Liz and she seems go, why are we talking to the third person right now? All right, guys, here's the question. Here's the question. Should we keep chatting, and if so, about what, or should we play some Walking Dead? The Walking Dead was pretty lit last night. I feel I feel 50-50 both ways. I feel 50-50 both ways right now. What exactly is tall person energy? Keep chatting deep topics. Well, then what should we talk about? We've been chatting for about two and a half hours. Poll time. Yeah, let's take a poll. Well, this is a solid 10 out of 10. So true. <clears throat> I don't know what the laws class versus are about. <clears throat> I 
More deep chats. All right, well, hey, you guys got to supply the topics. And we can, uh, we can keep doing, uh, we can keep doing random question generator. Oh, wait, Walking Dead's coming back. The Walking Dead's coming back. If you're lurking and you want content, vote now. If you are lurking and you have a preference, vote now. If you're stuck on topics, you could always do what you did in the stream last month and find conversation starters. Yeah. We also have a random question generator. We can keep going. I don't have to, I'm old and weary. It's 10 p.m. Good night, Ange. Sleep well. All right, more deep chats. We'll, we'll deep chat until it feels like we should be done deep chatting. Uh, let me check if my mom messaged me. Okay, we're good. Oh, uh, let's go live on TikTok again. I feel like, honestly, there were some chill people in the TikTok that I feel like jumped over. Okay, this is a good, this is a good question. This is a good question. I want you guys to ponder this for a second. The question is, what is the biggest realization you've had about yourself? See you later, Lady Toast, sleep tight. Yeah, let's go live on TikTok again. But I guess I can't keep saying the live streams again. Came over from TikTok. We love it, Climate Chick. Thank you for being here. Guys, if you came over from TikTok, we love it. And I want you to know you're better than 99% of people. Because most people don't. Can I sing for you in chat on Discord if you don't want me to? I completely understand. On take. Uh, you're welcome to pop in a voice channel if you like. Uh, I don't think I will be joining on stream. Uh, but you guys, you're always welcome to pop in there and uh, tell people that you're in there and singing. Sleep tight, Mr. Lady Toast. Most thoughtful gift you've ever received. That's a good one too. Comfort character and why? I don't know if I have a comfort character, but my comfort shows are like Park and Rec, The Office, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Sack Cowman Fire. Man, we're getting so many uh, Sack Cowman people lately. Okay, the biggest realization I've had about myself Twitch so late. Yeah, we're doing late night, late night Friday vibes. <laughs> late night Friday vibes. We might get, I like, I kind of like the late night Friday vibes. And what's fun is uh, I'm on the West Coast. So uh, let's say, for instance, I had like plans. I could end the stream at 9 p.m. and still go do it. Personality isn't really personality. It's just a combination of other human personalities that I've taken. I'm not a real person. I mean, I think that's just life, right? Every Everything is just imitation, right? Everything is imitation. And you imitating or a combination of other people is still gonna be unique because no one is you, you know? I'm surprised he didn't finish his food, especially because he was hungry earlier. He ate most of it. I probably put too much water in it, huh guys? I put more water in it than usual. Ah, uh, we'll see, he'll, he'll probably come back to it in it. I'm not... I'm not always going to be as good of a person as I want to be. It's okay for me to feel low, nervous, agitated, and I have people to talk to, and family will always be here for me. Some of my biggest realizations. Okay. Um, big realization for me lately... Hey, from League of Their Own. Lately, I've realized that uh, I'm not as extroverted. Oh, sorry, guys. I gotta get check on. I'm not as extroverted as I thought I was. Uh, I think I'm definitely an introverted extrovert. You put water in the kibble. Yeah, well, it was, uh, I mix wet food and dry food together, and I give it to him. And then I pour a little water in there. Am I not supposed to do that? Because I've been doing that for a few days now. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool.
not as introverted as I think I am. I like being alone in garage cave, but it's also an LV. Yeah, it's all about it. Ambivert. Feel more like an ambivert. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was just like reading about it more, and I think the things I connected most with like an extroverted introvert, or introverted extrovert is that um, the thought of meeting someone new and learning about their life story and understanding with them and chatting and having a conversation, amazing, awesome. The thought of hanging out with a friend for eight hours straight, exhausting. Um, also, something I do is uh, like I, I will go out and be extroverted, but that expends my energy and then I need to go back and be alone or better yet be with like a partner. And then when I'm feeling recharged, I seek extroverted situations. Pigeoling myself into personality traits and behaviors that no longer serve me. Nice, I love that. Something I learned about myself is that uh, we all have things we've inherited. Maybe we inherited them from our parents. Maybe we inherited it from where we grew up, a religion or whatever. And uh, we, we really decide what is and isn't right for us, you know? And it's never too late to change things about ourselves. And the growing process is never gonna stop. I thought that when I hit 18, I would kind of be an adult. I would like, I will, I figured I'd still be learning, but I didn't realize there would still be crucial life lessons. Then I hit 24, I changed careers, I moved cities, and I was like, cool, I understand myself pretty well. I got a college degree, I've had some serious relationships, I've been in love, you know? And I've fucking learned a ton the past two years too, so I feel like the biggest realization is that like I'm never gonna stop learning, and some of them are gonna be huge learnings, and some of them are gonna be small, you know? I'm allowed to have emotions no matter if they're positive or negative, totally. Totally. Sitting in emotions is totally valid. I think I was chatting with a friend the other day that, uh, you know, honestly, like pushing, pushing off our emotions is like, can be super unhealthy. I had a work party cause we're opening kind of, I didn't believe we could be, you know, come off a lot for different than others. And I thought, always thought I was outspoken introvert. And then a series of people call me meek. Yeah. I could be them too. There's so many things I go into it. Should I to start off with? Get to know someone? Yeah, totally queen. I'm not that way. I am I am extroverted from the get-go. Um, but it does take a little bit to like see all the sides of me. You know what I mean? And guys, if you're watching on uh, TikTok right now, we're having some great chats on Twitch. Feel free to join us. I will be primarily focusing on that. Completely okay with being alone. I have my own company. Hell yeah. Random question generators going well. All right, let's pull up another question. Is a life is a life that focuses on avoiding pain and seeking out pleasure a good and worthful life? Why or why not? Is a life that focuses on avoiding pain and seeking out pleasure a good and worthwhile life? Why or why not? I would say if we if we mitigate the word avoiding or if we swap out the word avoiding for mitigating I would say a life focused on mitigating pain and maximizing pleasure is a good and worthwhile life like I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to have a positive loving life that being said I think if we are unwilling to face painful or hurtful situations, we will miss out on a lot of things in life. But, you know, I definitely avoid causing pain to others. You know, this, this, this question is intentionally vague, you know, to, to, to instigate conversation. can be important because it teaches us things totally totally i mean even at the basic situ even on like the most basic biological level pain tells us to stop what we're doing right hand on a stove hot stop doing that so pain is an important thing but if we totally ignored it you know i do think it can be uh counterproductive someone's inspiring i appreciate that sage what weird childhood fear do you still kind of hold on to? 
exhausted no worries alex sleep tight happy six months again hey you got it i think it's six months of you knowing me not me streaming but happy six months nonetheless sleep tight friend thanks for lurking weird childhood fear i don't know i used to be afraid of the dark i'm not afraid of the dark anymore maybe not fear but i used to be i used to be so intrigued about death as a little boy like i was almost obsessed like and i remember vividly like laying in my bedroom and like this is a real thing and i can't believe i used to feel this way but i would be laying in my bed and i would wish with all my tiny heart being that i could just skip to moments before i die because i wanted to know I wanted to know so bad what happens after we die that I was ready if 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 a if an omniscient being came down and gave me a choice to skip my life like that to 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 start on the next adventure I would have done it. So that's not a fear but and I still hold on to that. I've chilled out with that a little bit because I love life and I feel like there's so much for me to experience, but I was so so intrigued Freddy Krueger coming to get me in my dreams. <laughs> True. So I used to be obsessed with it. Oh, you know what fear? I have a fear I used to be afraid of, but I'm, I'm, I still kind of hold on to it. I used to be afraid of electrical plugs when I plugged in a lamp, an old outlet, it exploded. Wow. Faulty wiring. Swimming at night is kind of creepy, yeah. Humans, yeah, humans can be scary. I um I used to be afraid of amnesia which is kind of interesting but and I still agree with this in my mind amnesia is kind of like death right like your body continues but your mind or your soul so like who are you who are, like who are we really that's a long conversation like right are we our body or are, are we our minds are we our souls are we our heart are we something else are we a combination i don't know but in my mind if i had amnesia the zach i am now would cease to exist i, w I would become i would be in another subjective reality so I used to be so afraid because I was like, if I get amnesia, that is the exact same thing as dying. And the only way I feel like I would, you know, get out of amnesia is if I specifically remember this thought. Like, and so I used to set up mental checkpoints for myself, which is crazy. And uh, that's a longer conversation we can talk about. But I used to set up mental checkpoints for myself. I'd be sitting in bed. I'd be like, okay, here's a mental checkpoint. I am this years of age. I am in this situation. I'm hanging out. If I ever get amnesia, I have to come back to this checkpoint in order to revive myself. So let's say I got amnesia today and it took me a year and a half, but then all of a sudden I was like, oh, I remember on April 9th when I was sitting in chat and I was talking about amnesia and I was so afraid, then I would be back. Built his mind palace early in life. Oh yeah. I, um, I guess if the next question is, what is one thing that people don't necessarily know about you? Butterfly effect to yourself. Um, I, I have a lot of like, my brain is always going. I, I don't know if it's fair to say I overthink things or I guess I don't, or I do, but I don't let it be problematic. Like I don't let it stop me from living my life, but there's always a lot going on here, whether it's like pretty advanced mental daydream situations or thinking through every possible conversation I could have with someone. When I've not had much of a social life, I've been outside much over the last year now being outside in general can get my oh my god yeah i i realize too i have a little bit of social anxiety as well at weird things like grocery stores airports i think that's and i i use humor and charm to like overcome my anxiety for sure stilt walkers stilts are creepy i have an irrational fear of someone come up behind me and cut my long hair off the base of my ponytail it happened in a book oh my gosh Huge fear of like objects in the ocean. Oh my, oceans are scary. What's it, thassophobia? Oceans are creepy as fuck. Shark would eat me in the deep, yeah. I'd rather fight a bear than a shark. Walk, walk wrong in front of someone at the grocery store and they'll yell at me. Mm -hmm. 
Every part of worrying said something wrong, yeah. Well, that's why I feel like it's not fair of me to say I overthink things, because it doesn't... Overthink thing, overthinking doesn't usually cause me anxiety, or maybe I'm used to it. Um, but I guess it's just say I have a very active imagination. I'm sorry, I blocked the sparkling water. <laughs> As a kid, I had this super rational fear of like putting my hand out of windows, a knife would chop it out. You guys have better rational fears than me. What food do I crave most often? Probably burritos. I crave burritos all the time. Burritos and pizza and pasta. See, I wish my cat was more open up. I would love to just have my cat on my lap right now. But he's sleeping under the bed. Hey guys, do you think it's okay that I put the cat bed under the, under the, I put my cat's bed under my bed? He just, he was so scared when he first came back and he was hanging under the bed, so I put his bed under there. And I think I make it, makes him feel safe. But I was reading, I'm doing too much reading. I was reading online that like, you don't want to encourage timid behaviors. But I feel like that doesn't count for when he like just got here. Don't leave it there too long. Yeah, I agree, Seb. It's only been four, it's only been four days. I feel like I should give him a little bit more time, right? Because the last thing I would want is to take it out and have him not there. For the first week, okay, I agree. He's already he's already getting so much comfort. He's already getting so comfortable so early. Even now he was eating his food and he was stopping his food to like push his head against me. Deep to burritos, yeah, I agree. Tacos and chicken, anything that's protein bar. That isn't a protein bar. <laughs> and he feels secure, yeah. He's been through trauma. He's been through trauma for sure. What holidays have been over commercialized? Uh, Valentine's Day? Every holiday? Every holiday? Enchiladas. Ooh, homemade enchiladas. I had a friend growing up, um, and I think her family was either from Mexico or maybe Guatemala or I, maybe El Salvador. I could totally be wrong. Um, sorry about the links, guys. Can't, can't post any links. Uh, you can you can post uh, sorry Dolly. I don't know what you're trying to post you can post like twitch links um, uh, But every year uh, the uh, the, fir the first of January every year I would go over to her house not every year But they would do it every year, but I would go over and we would make uh, homemade tamales and they were so good They would give me some to take home So good I'm Talking about cats and food both. I didn't post the link <laughs> So nightbot is freaking out have you ever given to any charities? Yes, we've all given to charities on this stream. We destroyed our goal for uh, stop AAPI hate. My cat was very skittish, so I would actively try to be quieter, but I've read to just live your life normally. Yeah, Norma, that's what I was doing. The first day or two, I was being like all like extra quiet and stuff, but then I was like, I need to just live my life. Uh, and even now he's skittish when I walk by, so what I was doing the first day is I would like, I would like come down on his level and I would try to like scoot past him. But now I just like, now I just walk with intention and he's, he's way better with it. Reaching out and go, yeah, congrats to all of us. If you were transported 400 years into the past with no clothes or anything else, how would you prove that you were from the future? 400 years, so it would be It'd be 1621. 1621. I don't know. How would you guys do it? Calculus? Yeah, maybe. I guess I would go to wherever the smartest people are, like go to whatever university was around, and then just impress them with my compound knowledge. Like I would draw like maybe like a DNA strand or like do a bunch of stuff. For my B-Day, I did this fundraiser for hospice. My great aunt passed away and five years ago and I raised about 160. That's awesome, Ben. Hell yeah. That's so cool, man. Or not to, not to assume based off the word Ben. That is so cool, friend. Sorry to assume your gender based off societal norms of the name Ben. In fact, I'm saying you instead of the and thou, yeah. They would think I was a witch. Burn the witch. Burn the witch.
Next question. When do you feel most out of place? Well, I'm home most of the time. Dang, all right. <laughs> Sounds good, brother. And they'd be like, oh, she's not from around here. Yeah, they'd probably think you're a harlot. And when do I feel most out of place? Honestly, in bougie areas. I didn't grow up bougie. I don't feel bougie. I have a little bit of a chip on my shoulder when it comes to socioeconomic standing things. What profession doesn't get enough credit or respect? He's bougie. It's a uh, uh Teachers. Teachers. You just joined the Discord. That's awesome. Even in the Whole Foods, because I'm too poor for that. <laughs> and a white bush, white bush space. Yeah, teachers for sure. Yeah, teachers. What nicknames have I had throughout my life? Um, well, I wonder if Cowman is a nickname, but. Um, uh, some childhood friends in like my neighborhood, not like Matt and crew, uh, they called me Binks because they thought I looked like Thatchery Binks because Thatchery sounds like Zachary and they thought I looked like the character from Hocus Pocus. So they would call me Binks. Come in. Uh, my ultimate Frisbee team in college, I know that's very, very college, they called me Burger because at my first ever tournament, uh, you're there all day and you're running around all day and you're like eating but like not something substantial. And I was on the sideline with the captain and I was like, man, I could really go for a burger after this. But I guess he liked how I said it. According to him, I was like, man, I could really go for a burger. But I don't think I said it like that. So everybody just called me burger after that. <laughs> but I was like, you know, what? that's not a bad nickname. <laughs> garbage men. Yeah, garbage. I was thinking about garbage men, too. Postal workers. Yeah. Postal workers. Hey, 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 thanks, Ryan. I appreciate you. My name is Sky, but for some reason people call me Star. Okay. My mom used to call me Carly Cat, Harry Back. What? <laughs> Sporting the Bob Belcher mustache. Now I am, yeah. Uh, we have a Bob's Burger uh, emote, right? Uh, alert. Man, my mom and sister are coming to visit me. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, TikTok. I got to message my dad real quick. Nursing home administrators, oh yeah. Nurses in general, nurses get respect, but my mom's a nurse and I don't think most people understand like how much nurses really, really, really do. Called all sorts of things, strange theory, but some of them may not be friendly for Twitch. Okay, hey, I'll take your word for it. Captain Matt, season four, Tuesday. Wait, season four is out? Oh, wait. No, I think I've seen season four. What is the exact thing I'm talking about? Giggle? Giggle's a good nickname. Friends with Rachel and her mom nicknamed us Rach and Rachy. <laughs> What's something that can't be found or bought on the internet? True love. No, you can find it. You can find that. <laughs> Interesting. Cool kids chilling on a Friday night. Yeah, only the cool kids are chancing. Only the 
What are the cool kids are in? What's something that can't be found or bought on the internet? Love? No, you can fi you can find love. No, you can find all those things. Personal self-acceptance. I feel like a lot of us have felt, found self-acceptance in this community. Quality time where I'm, I feel like I'm having quality time right now. Love. People have found true love. World peace. Yes. You can't find world peace. I was going to say sunshine, but you can buy a trip to fucking Barbados. Me. You can't buy me. Everybody has a price. A real dodo bird. Yes, ex yes, a real extinct animal. Aliens. <laughs> What's up, purple butterfly? Next question. A s oh, this is a long one. <clears throat> Assume that in the future there will be huge leaps in human augmentation. Given a scale from completely human to completely machine, how far would you choose to augment yourself with robotics? What parts would you augment and why? Um... I would get super strength. I would get a huge fucking robo vibrating cock. I would uh, put a chip in my brain so that I can compute faster. But I would keep my human heart. And I would keep my freaking anxiety because it keeps me grounded. <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> You're telling me if you had the option you wouldn't make yours vibrate no matter what part you have you wouldn't make it vibrate even if you have a vagina you wouldn't make it fucking vibrate self-cleaning immune to yeast infections and you would we all would we all fucking would it's self-cleaning already yeah but perfectly self-cleaning Connor and become human. Yeah, a lot of people say that. Yeah, but perfectly self-cleaning. You can still get UTIs, friends. Straight to Awesome Powers gun boobs. Ooh, that's good. That's amazing. <laughs> Guys, you're focusing on the self-cleaning part. You can make it whatever level of depth or tightness or warmth. You should. We should all make it vibrate. Everybody's thing should vibrate, right? Wouldn't everybody be happier with a vibrating part? Extendo appendages, that'd be pretty good. Really good eyesight, yeah. Vibrations for all. Listen, I don't care, I don't want men to enjoy themselves. But no, in this situation, men have like an amazing vibrator, robo PP as well. I gotta go pet my parrot. Ooh, what's it? What's your back in my day? We I have a few back in my day. We uh, had to uh, use a, a modem cable to have internet that plugged into our phone, and only one person could have it at a time. We also had uh, an annoying DSL sound, dial-up internet. <gasps> Guys, I got suspended on live. Oh, okay, I got I got I got banned on live. I got banned on TikTok live for a day. That happened to me the other day. When I was uh when I was saying bag of dicks. That's fine. I wasn't gonna go live for a day anyway. No biggie. On TikTok, yeah. You guys wanna you guys wanna hear something actually? Um and first of all, I wanna start I wanna start this off by saying I don't judge. I support everybody, and you guys know I support sex workers. You know some of my friends are sex workers. I've helped them with their marketing. I support all forms of sex work. 
so that it, so long as it is uh, safe and healthy for all, just like with weed, gotta fucking uh, legalize that shit so you can. Uh... Anyways, so I was on I was on TikTok last night, probably around like ten or eleven p.m. And you know when you're scrolling through your for you page, it like recommends lives to you, like other people's live streams. Um, there was this girl that uh, was live. And, uh, you know, she she looked fine, but she was in her bedroom. She was wearing a robe. Her robe was up to here, and then the other one was draped to here. And it came down right about here. So let's just say it was showing ample bosom, right? Um, and I was like, man, I'm surprised she doesn't get banned because I know so many people uh, have, like, been getting banned. Like, I just got banned for saying Robocock. Uh, and I can't believe someone fucking banned me, those bitches, especially because I've been fucking on here. But so anyways, I click into her live because I was like, what is she even talking about? This girl has 600 people in her live. 600 people, which is fine. Uh, so I went to go check her page. This girl had 5,000 followers. That's crazy. The most I've ever had is like 70. And that was when I had like maybe like 150,000. Because I didn't give my Zodiac sign, yeah. And that's crazy to me. So TikTok has to work on their algorithm kind of thing. Um, why did I bring this up in the first place? Oh, yeah, she didn't get banned. And she was she was talking about her OnlyFans lefts and right. She was saying OnlyFans. She was talking about that kind of stuff. Literally, she was showing everything but nipple. It was like, if this is my nipple, it was like stopping right there. And again, hey, you go you. But I got banned for saying Robocock. <laughs> Hey, don't, don't, some people have an alert. Wait, did anyone message me and I missed your alert? Leslie or Norma or anything? Yes, Leslie, I'm waiting on yours. That's my bad. I got it. Or no, I, you sent me yours that I have to do. Norma, am I all caught up with you? Um, I think it's two things. I think people can report you, Norma, but I think there's also like an auto tracking software component as well. I'm having a good time, guys. I'm having a good time hanging out with you guys. I mean, I'm always having a good time, but sometimes the just chatting streams hit hit diff. No worries, take your time. Okay, I will, I will, I will get to it, my friend. Next question. I am getting hungry though, guys, so I think I'm gonna have to end the live pretty soon because I haven't eaten, and my mom and my sister are coming up to visit, and I think I need to just spend time thinking about that. Does anyone do that? Like you have like an obligation coming up and you're like, I just need to spend time sitting down and thinking about it. That's how I know I'm an introverted extrovert. I have to like mentally prep myself to host. Got to put a boy to bed. I'll jump in later. Sound good. Uh, too old for this. Have a great night. Thanks for hanging out. Need to eat all the time. Here, let me, I'm, I'm having a Trader Joe's frozen pizza. So let me, let me preheat the oven guys. Let me preheat the oven. Tell I took two months of Taekwondo in the fourth grade. <laughs> I promise I could be more impressive than that. I am just very, very sore. I, uh, oh no, internet's, internet's whacking out. No, we're okay. That's so funny. I got banned from live. Honestly, my cat's pretty chill. He doesn't try to eat the plants. I only saw him trying to uh, scratch the furniture once and I, I got some like citrus spray. I just shoot him off. TikTok recommended your video and your live. I got drawn in by the art behind you to be honest. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all, friend. We'd love to have you here. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, for everybody. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Carly.
Um, for anyone that is new here or been lurking, thanks so much for hanging out. Um, honestly, we just chill. Like I would, I would say once a week or every other week, we just chat the whole time. Uh, we're currently working our way through The Walking Dead, which we've been playing with for a while. I just picked it up yesterday and Final Fantasy 15. But really, um, I mean, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but the focus of this stream is really to just like vibe and hang out. And uh, I'm all about good vibes in my own life. So that's really just kind of what I try to like present and stuff. Tony's before she wanted to hang out. If I was free, I almost had a mental breakdown. <laughs> yeah. So, but I do like to be spontaneous too. But if I'm hosting, Need to be told at least 24 hours in advance. Yeah, totally. Got to mentally prepare. Got to mentally prepare. It's 5 a.m. Only leaving when this ends. We're going to we're gonna end pretty soon. Um, uh, the, uh, the oven is preheating, and then it only takes like 10 minutes to cook my pizza. Early morning vibes. Chill and cool guy. I'm glad I found you. Well, hey, we love... We, we had a lot of new faces here today, and I appreciate it, friend. We, uh... These streams are the highlight of my week. And, uh... I, I, I obviously I like sharing stories. That's like what I'm all about in my whole life. No idea I'm supposed to function in person in an office soon. Ooh, yeah. All right. Well, hey, it sounds like Friday late night is the move. I think Thursday late night was too late for a lot of y'all. Friday late night. Uh, I don't know what we'll do next week. I might try early morning. I might try like a Thursday 10 a.m. kind of thing. Cowman's Chronicles podcast? Ooh. I don't know. I don't know how I don't know how I feel about it being super branded. So I like names that are pretty simple. Did it finish? Uh Norma, we we finished the one. I forgot that I had stopped halfway. Uh so I can give you a recap. Or it'll be it'll be on Twitch soon. 8 a.m. Eastern. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we might try it early morning, because I honestly... Thursday, Friday, Sunday feels good. But Thursday, Friday, Saturday also sounds good. Recommended channels. I saw you were trying to fix my night bot for my channel. Okay. I oh, appreciate it, Ben. Thanks for coming out. So much fun talking about that. Yeah, we and uh, chat. Chat is always chill vibes. Honestly, I feel like you guys enjoy chatting with each other more than me, which is totally fine with me. She'll watch it on the tube. <laughs> oh, more normal. Oh, oh. <laughs> Just playing. Uh, yeah, I'll update that soon. What is the most interesting thing you can do with 400 pounds of cheddar cheese? Build a fucking cheddar cheese house, motherfucker. Make the world's biggest, fattest, juiciest pizza. Make myself a girlfriend that won't fucking break my heart. That was just a joke, guys. It's just a joke. Pool of queso, melt it into a pool. <laughs> 400 pounds is less than you think. <laughs> That's true, yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Uh. What? Oh, it makes someone who won't leave until I eat it. Yeah. Puts a whole new meaning to eating it out, huh? Make a big bowl of nachos. I mean, I think a lot more of us would receive, be on the receiving end if we were made out of cheese. You know what I mean? <laughs> Cute watermelon sugar high. What always lets you down and what never lets me down? You guys never let me down. What always lets me down? My own expectations. This is the first time in ages. <laughs> <laughs> You know, TikTok, we hear ban all over. <laughs> you, know, you know what's funny is uh, uh, TikTok's European, so the date said 10 4 2021. And I was like, I'm fucking banned for six months. I'm banned till October. But then I realized it was the European date, so I'm only banned for a day. 
Mashed potatoes, yeah. I was gonna say pizza, but sometimes you get like a gross pizza. What are some good and bad things about the education system in your country? I'm too hungry to answer this right now, friends. <laughs> you guys answer that. I'm gonna go stick the pizza in the oven. Classism, racist, ooh, power and privilege in American system, and it learned a lot, ooh, yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe like wealth distribution. Depending on where you grow up, you have access to a completely different public education system. Oh, I am winded. I am winded. Okay, friends. Should we find someone in the just chatting category to raid? I'm following this person called Evolution of Eevee and I don't remember when I followed her. Or why. Oh, she's currently playing, not right now, but she's working her way through Final Fantasy 15. Here, let's find somebody to raid, guys. What is she talking about? Talking about cookies? I'm following her too. Okay, we may, we may. <laughs> All right, let's give it a go. We do love cookies. All right, uh, cool guys. If you don't mind sticking around, we'll share some share some of our positivity. Uh, we're not leaving just yet. We'll leave in a minute or two I want to thank everybody for choosing to spend your Friday night with me if it is just starting have a fantastic one if it is Saturday morning for you have a fantastic Saturday if you're headed to bed sweet dreams if you're starting your day go fucking get them tiger uh, but just thanks for hanging out guys I had a great time I love just chatting uh, we wound up not playing any games but that's okay um, thanks for letting me talk and share my perspective and Thank you for being a safe space for me. I hope that uh, I have done the same for you. Um, if you enjoyed tonight's stream, 
Sunday at 11 a.m. Pacific, we are doing this exact same thing, but with another content creator, Meg Mage. It is actually the first episode of my stream podcast, Name TBD, Zach Chats, streaming chats with Zach, Bippity Boop Boop Boop, streaming chats. That's probably the name right there. So we're going to be talking about life and all that kind of stuff. If there are certain topics you'd like more information on or you'd like us to discuss, feel free to go into the Discord on the events tab and drop it in. Have a great night, everybody. Thanks for spending the time with me. We might we might make uh, Friday nights more of a regular thing. Seemed like we all had it. Stash chats. <laughs> I want to get rid of the stash, though. Thanks for the stream. No worries, founding. Love to have you here. Um, so, yeah, have a great night, everybody. Sleep tight. Get a little churn if that's what you're doing. And uh, I'll see you Sunday at 11 a.m., guys. I'm chatting with Meg at 1130. See you there. Have a great night. Love you guys. No, they're amazing cookies, but they're really expensive. Oh my gosh, Zach Cowman! Thank you so much for the, the cow cold. Why are you guys?